trottoir. Why is it not using my thumbnail? That's dumb. Oh well, I guess it's not using my thumbnail. I know how streaming works. Let's go. Yeah, let's make that a bit bigger. There. Ah. <sighs> So this is basically just a test for my audio and my own sake because as many times as I can just sit here and record and go testing, 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 it doesn't really help me anecdotally with my information. So <laughs> I'm just going to see how this all works. And honestly, YouTube streaming seems a lot more different than Twitch streaming and my cat screaming. Perfect. So... I'm going to be recreating, well, not recreating exactly, I'm going to be doing uh, this gummy worm nail art. It looks really cute. Um, This is by Lympha Luna, and I don't know, I can't find this tweet anywhere. Like, I've scoured their Twitter, and they reference it quite a few times, and I'm like, okay, cool, Uh, where's the original tweet? I think they deleted it. So I have linked to their Twitter and their shop. I just cannot find this original tweet. Even just bringing up a Google search, this brings up fucking nothing. It just brings up screenshots of the tweet. So <laughs> at 8 a.m., yes, that's when I wake up. Actually, I woke up at like 7. <laughs> you don't do nail art early in the morning? <laughs> but yeah. So I'm just going to be doing this nail art and let's see how that looks. Right now I'm wearing something that I fucking hate. I hate it so much. I do not like this nail art whatsoever. <laughs> I don't know. I hate the stamping plate. I've tried. I've tried with the stamping plate. I tried to make it work. So what's up nail stamping plate? It's so fucking... Oops. Gotta be on my mic. You never went to sleep? What are you doing? What kind of life are you living? I tried, like, this stamping plate right here, that stupid bear. I don't... Ugh. Where's the other one? Bro, I tried so hard. But these stamping plates, for some reason, like, the snow is a part of the outline. So the snow will be the same exact color as your outline. So no such thing as white snow whatsoever. <laughs> and it's just upsetting. Also, I wonder how the quality is going to be on this thing. Ooh, insomnia. My fiancé had that for the longest time. He had, a um, well, not insomnia. Insomnia. I can't say words. But he had sleep apnea, and literally his throat closed when he was uh, sleeping. It's fucking awful. But it went away. He lost, like... 50 60 pounds and he lost that so that's kind of fucking amazing also he no longer snores very loudly but yeah i'm like really annoyed because i wanted to have music and all this on youtube but youtube <laughs> doesn't have separate audio channels so if I want to edit this later on, that's going to be fucking annoying with music in the background. <laughs> Aw, thank you. Now, my nails have been super, super fucking porous. Like, I have a peel-off base under this, and it, like, last time I tried to remove my dinosaur manicure. Let me try and find that. Tried to remove my dinosaur manicure, and my nails were so sticky, the peel-off base did not come off. So I'm just dealing with really sticky nails. I had this manicure, this dinosaur manicure, on my nails for a week and a half. <laughs> and I couldn't get it to fucking pop off. I was getting so mad because I hated, I hated this manicure. Everyone seemed to like it, but I hated it. But let's see if I can pop this off. Let me get 
zoom in more. Ooh, ooh. Aw, thank you. Oh, God, I'm so terrible with usernames, and that one's easy. Warrior girl. <laughs> it's really sweet. Sorry, I'm having a panic attack. Don't mind me. Look, it's not coming off. Yeah, good. That's a satisfying peely. Look how sticky my nails are. Like, and I don't mean, like, they're physically sticky. I just mean they're just holding on for dear life with this manicure. Fuck. No, this is an acetone job. Uh, I'm pissed. I'm so mad. But yeah, I have the original artist's uh, shop link and Twitter in the description. But they since deleted, I think they deleted that tweet. Wow, that's really bright. Why? You gonna focus? Here we go. Hopefully the quality is not too bad. This is through my iPhone. Let's see. Ooh. I don't know why my nails have just been, like, so sticky. I oiled my nails and lotioned them to help the peeling pop. The peelies. The peelies pop and nothing. Nothing. They're just sticking. Because I didn't want to wear this manicure. I hated it. <laughs> Aw, I should have taken off my nail polish first. I don't know why I hate it. I think I've just, like, been omega sad. <laughs> and I recently recorded a video where I went over all my nail art of the year. And that's going to be posted next week. And I just, like kind of felt bummed out because I was like, man, I did some good nail arts. What if I'd never do anything this good again? <laughs> oh, that's such a relief. I'm mostly recording this just for my knowledge. That way, you know, like, if my microphone gain is fine and whatnot. Because no matter how many times I just record myself, just chilling, doing nothing, um, it's not going to be the same as streaming. Ah. <sighs> Oh, this is a test nail. The thumb's always a test. <laughs> I wanted to see if I could achieve a kind of gummy worm look, so I kind of sl lazily slapped that on. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully the nails will actually look better. I actually drew it out. So hopefully, let me take off this glove. Hopefully, can you focus on the light? Or are you going to be very bright? You're going to be very bright. There we go. There we go. Yeah. So hopefully it'll look like that. I'll have one nail that's just pure worms. Um, this one is going to be a CAD stamp. And then hopefully two Medusas. We'll see. <laughs> what type of acrylic paints I'm using? Uh, I use... These are the types of acrylic paints I use. You can tell which ones I've used more. These are actually for, like, for realsies art. <laughs> uh, this, this white has been very well loved. But these are the type I use. I found that the dollar store ones um, full-on separate. Where did I put it? back of my Homer. Yeah, I picked up this. Here, I can zoom out a bit. I picked up this from the dollar store, and it just separates so weirdly. It's like oil on your nails, and it like beads up, and it's just crazy. But these paints, I got them in a set. They're not that expensive. Like, I picked them up at Walmart, but I did that like a decade ago, so... <laughs> But that's like in a craft set. Oh. Oh, well. Also, oh, this is the CADS plate. Oh my god. So I saw Fanaticure having had this plate and I was like, I kind of need this. I need this. I need this worm. Look at him. He's so fun. <laughs> He's so stressed out. I love him. 
Also, this plane will be great in my 9-11 memorial manicure. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. Uh, the intrusive thoughts won on that one. No, oh god, this plane. I love this bird face. I don't know what I'm going to do with him, but I I want him. I need him. Well, I have him, so. But yeah, I'll leave the plate or the... So that's Danley Ronnie and Crafts for All. Ugh, stupid acetone. Like, I don't know why my nails are so sticky. It's so frustrating. It's uh, the curse I pay for nail length and <laughs> growth. My nails grow crazy fast. Dude, like, Twitch streaming versus, like, YouTube streaming. I I was like, okay, you know what? YouTube seems like the better experience. Also, like, my Twitch doesn't have any followers that are relevant from, like... Because when I streamed on Twitch, it was, like, 2017, 2018. So it's like, oh, those accounts probably don't... Those people are, like, long gone. <laughs> like, they, maybe they moved on to a different website. Maybe they don't fuck around anymore. But I was like, hmm... Seems like YouTube's the better. But I'm just mad that I can't have different audio channels. It's so dumb. The playback, the player is much better on YouTube, though. So. Because then you can use just times to it. Pause it, walk away. Ugh. Like, look. I'm, like, getting, like, fuzzy. Like, that's my peel-off base coat. It's, like, balled up. Medication can stop your nails from growing? That's crazy. I really enjoy nubs, though. Like, your quality of life is much higher <laughs> when you have nubs. Like, you can do things with your hands, which is, like, nice. <laughs> uh, sometimes I just get tired of the long nails and I chop them off. I haven't done that in a long time, though. I've been tempted. Ugh. Got my hair in the acetone. Mmm, hairy acetone, yes. I might I might find some copyright free music to play in the background because with no music, this is kinda lame. But I'm worried because what if I edit this down into a YouTube video and then all of a sudden I get copyright claimed. <laughs> Cause streaming is different. Lack of calcium. Oh, I'll never be lack of calcium. Oh my god, I love milk. <laughs> uh, don't get me started on Vampire Diaries, okay? I'm gonna have some problems. Dude, I love the Vampire Diaries. And True Blood. I'm trash through and through. There's nothing. I'm like, I'm just a trash panda. Oh my god. And now I have to clean under my nails. How fun. It's so fuzzy. Oh no. I, uh. I just finished an anime last night and it's upset me to my core. So it's like Silver Sugar, sh the anime's called Silver Sugar Fairy Tale. And obviously with that title, you're like, wow, this is going to be a banger. <laughs> it's going to be like action packed and whatnot. But like literally for like the first two episodes, they're like, this girl's 15. And I'm like, can we stop? Can we stop? Can we stop reminding me of the girl's age? And then they're like, let's pair her. With a hundred year old fairy. And I'm like, okay, okay, Japan, please stop. I get you. I get the, like, you know, the the age difference, you know, it's like uh, Edward is, you know, you know, he's been 17 for a hundred years, but there's just, it just feels weird. Can we pair someone with an adult? <laughs> oh, true blood. Oh. God, the ending to True Blood pissed me off. 
I heard the books are so much better, though. I haven't read the books. Because, ew, reading. No, just kidding. I love to read, but... God, you could tell, like, my nail's broken and I tried to fix it. I'm not good at fixing stuff. Dude, if the quality is as good as what I'm seeing in OBS, this is pretty fucking good for my iPhone. Not gonna lie. My cat is screaming. So, Sunday has this fun little habit, my cat. Uh, I have a heating blanket in my lap because it is 60 degrees in my house. And... <laughs> she does not like the heating blanket. It's not on. She just doesn't like its fuzzy texture. So, because she doesn't like that, she's refusing to get into my lap. And because she can't get into my lap, she's throwing tantrums and just running throughout the house screaming her head off because she can't sit in my lap because she doesn't like the blanket. Oh. <sighs> <laughs> oh, what's Nicole's opinion on True Blood? I check the, I check the book channel occasionally, but I'm not like full on like reading it or like consuming its uh, content. <laughs> I'm more of a shenanigans girl. <laughs> that channel fills my heart with so much joy. <gasps> Hi, Nicole. <laughs> oh no, now I'm nervous. Well, I was nervous before. I'm just cleaning my nails. Because my peel-off base coat refused to come off. Please. Ugh. Oh, ugh. True Blood just hits, hits different. Oh. It's so hot. <laughs> uh. Uh. Wait, so Nicole, what did you prefer, the book or the, the TV series? Because my mother preferred the book. She's like, it's so much better. She gets with Eric, and it's fun. And I'm like, okay. Oh, peel off base coat. Just doesn't want to come off my nails. Does anyone else suffer like I do? This is like the gift of nails where I just suffer because my peel off base coat does not want to come off. Everyone else is like peel off base coat lasts like two hours. I'm like, it lasts weeks and I can't take it off. <laughs> there is someone, Oh God, I can't remember their name. They comment on a lot of my videos, but I recognize their picture and they'll be like, yeah, peel off base coat just doesn't come off. <laughs> it refuses. Uh, oh, Eric, Eric. I don't know if I'm, if I like Eric or if I just like the actor that plays him. And, oh my god, when they cut his hair, I was like, boy, boy, you looked a beautiful. You looked beautiful while just, you know, <laughs> with long hair, but with short hair. Girl, I can't. God, I was so sad when that actor who played Lafayette passed away. That was, oh my god. That was terrible. Like, Lafayette was my favorite character. Why well, did, I heard that, like, the show, they, like, changed races and stuff like that. Like, Tara wasn't black in the books. Oh, I love Tara. Tara was so, I... Okay, I hated what they did to Tara. Tara didn't deserve anything that fucking happened to her, but I loved her spiciness. God. Tara was so much fun. Okay. I'm just sitting here suffering. Look at that pinky. Look at that. Let me zoom in. Like, look. Why is my peel- That's my peel-off base coat just being like, I'm hanging on for dear fucking life. Dear life. Oh, Alexander is- Fucking gorgeous. Oh my god. Yeah, that's what I heard. That's what my mother said too. She was like, Lafayette was not an enjoyable character in the books. I think he dies in the books, right? Or something? A lot of characters die in the books that don't die in the show and vice versa. Um, Kind of like what they did with Game of Thrones. I don't want to talk about Game of Thrones. <laughs> Come on, look at that. Look at my peel-off base. Why? Poor K. Look, it's gonna. What am I doing? It's gonna peel off 
this dry, crusty, like why? There we go. Clean. Oh, a fresh yellow canvas. No, just kidding. I've got a microphone in my way, so I can't see some of those things. Zoom out. Oh, I love the like the cousin vibe they had in the the show. Like that was just fun. And oh my god, the woman who plays Tar Tara's mother. Holy shit. She's such a convincing alcoholic. That was like that performance was insanity. Oh my god. Like it, I don't know. I just I was like Fully enthralled by her acting. It was so, so good. Oh, God. That character. Oh, God. Lafayette. Yes. Oh, my God. He's so fun. My God. This peel-off face. I'm just going to complain about it constantly. Because that's what I do in life. As a lady with literally nothing wrong in her life, I'll just complain. I love it. Like, I'll get occasionally asked, like, people be like, hey, do you get PR? And I'm like, I complain about nail polish too much. No, <laughs> no brand wants to see me complain about the polish they sent me for free. <laughs> Come on, be off face. Sorry, I really was like, you know what? My, pe my peel off face will come off during the stream. and It'll be satisfying to see this thing just pop off. So I, I will, I'll just do that on stream because that'll be fun. Peelies. Nope. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Oh. Jesus. Also, there was a comic book, right, with True Blood? My mother read the comic book, too, and that changed a lot, too. She said the wares were much more interesting in the books, in the comic books, too. Now, do I put a peel-off base on this? Because I don't think this is going to happen. I think it's just going to last on me forever. I'm not putting on another peel-off base. Nope. We're just suffering through life. Dude, I just, I hate it though. Like, every single, like, anime I watch or, like, vampire show I watch, they're like, let's go after the teenagers. Why not? Eh, let's... Surely this vampire that's like a thousand years old would be interested in a 15-year-old. Like, can we, can we, can we, can we not? <laughs> I don't know why I hate that so much. Just like, I, as an American, this is just too much for me. And a lot of anime fucking has that. Oh, God. Okay, we're just going in with a bonder. Because I need to hear things more to my nails than ever. Wow, I went really thick. I just refilled my bottle. <laughs> so it's got way more in it than I'm used to. <laughs> Go heavy handed on my base coat. I was watching Mediocre Manny's and she said a lot of people have like, like bonder stains their nails. I can't, I've never experienced that. Or maybe that's why my nails are yellow. I wish my cat would stop screaming. I know she's upset because she can't get in my lap, but, you know, it's his life. You know, that's the choices you made, cat, because you didn't want to sit in my lap. Oh. No, oh, God, like, that's the thing. Like, sometimes a show runs its course, right? And you're like, okay, cool. This is amazing. That's great. I want a complete and cohesive story through and through. And then showrunners will be like, no, nah, but that money. And they'll keep it going to milk the cow. And then you'll have things like Game of Thrones where the directors are like, no, we don't want to give you two more seasons. <laughs> we don't want to milk this cow anymore. And then you get the Dorn fucking plot line. Oh, they fucked Dorn so much. In Game of Thrones, in the books, you know the bad pussy line. Pretty, pretty good fucking line. But, fucking the, like, originally Dorn, Dorn 
doesn't have gender fucking roles like the rest of Westeros. So because like the eldest child fucking died, they married off their daughter, which was the second oldest. And they were like, all right, she is now the queen of Westeros. She gets the throne. And that's why the they fight because they're like, we have the next in line. This the capital's ours. And that, but instead they just went, you just want bad pussy. No one wants bad pussy. <laughs> hmm, let's see. True. Wearing nail polish does stay. <laughs> I just, I can't imagine, like, on its own, Bonder staining. Bonder doesn't prevent stains? Oh my god, maybe that's what I <laughs> never Dude! Oh! Christmas, my fiance got me the Island P uh, base coat. He didn't realize he was buying a base coat. Bless his soul and his heart. Uh, the lock it up. Oh my god, the brush in this is so freaking soft. It's so pretty. Or not pretty, Jesus. It's so soft and like gentle. It feels so nice. When I run out of this, I'll probably refill my bonder into this bottle. Like... I will say I don't like the cap. It's way too, like, slippy. It's not the normal island pee. And I've got something on my thumb. Ah. It's not, like, the normal island pee, like, mat uh, handle. So this is hard to, to grip. <laughs> uh. Okay. Yeah, the island pee lock it up is really nice. I was surprised. I was so shocked. I really enjoy it. To only wear Bonder for a month? Oh my god. I couldn't. I couldn't. It doesn't even look cute. Okay, I'm going in with... What? I bought this because Kelly Marissa wouldn't stop talking about it. This is going to be my base. Tombstone. Ooh, spooky. Hi, Sunday. Yes, are we sad? Are we sad because we can't go into the lap? I know. Life's so hard as a cat. What would you ever do? Actually, and now I'm realizing I'm fully blocking my light source when I paint my nails. That's smart. I am so smart. S-M-R-T. Yes. This is a pretty decent, like, two-coater. I miss the side of my nail like I always do. Like, I don't know if you catch that on my, like, swatch footage, but I will always miss the side of my thumb. <laughs> uh... Oh, I just, oh, I'm, okay, I had this, like, great video idea, because someone, like, asked, like, hey, what's your top stainers in your collection? I'm like, that sounds like a fun fucking video, so I'm gonna figure out what are the top stainers in my collection and just compete them and rank them, and then I was like, but my nails are really yellow, and I don't have, like, a base to work off of. Oh, uh, oh, uh, my poor, like, I don't have, um... A te not what a control. There we go. That's a scientific term. A control. Yeah, like Kelly's nails are never freaking stained. Like she said that she distashes like polish in her collection that stains. And like I know she has that Hollow Taco Magnetics collection. And she didn't mention anything about staining. And I'm like, girl, you're either lying to the world or you have the most oily nails that don't that don't stain because those hollow taco magnetics bitch my nails got stained pink my nails were stained the color of the polish which has never happened in my life those magnetics are so <laughs> they're beautiful but my god they're so heavy-handed on that stain Right, Caitlin, uh, Caitlin swatches, like, her nails don't have stainage at all either. Oh my god, <laughs> Hollow Taco Fall Collection, don't start. Girl, my nails were so nasty after, uh, not pressed. Oh my god. I love it though, it's such a gross green, but my god. <laughs> they were so 
imagine that she does buff her nails right because like um polished yogi buffs her nails and her stainage is very minimal yeah like what are they doing to not have stained nails <laughs> i know i know my nails are super prone to stainage just because they're very porous and that's why base like peel off base coat lasts forever on me but, like, Jesus, like, I'm sitting here like, what the, how? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. The, the animal, the gamer inside me was so pissed. I, ha I have my first negative comment ever on Instagram. Someone just commented on one of my reels. They were like, but why yellow vomit emoji? And I wanted, <laughs> I wanted to say, because I, fucking finger banged your mom why are you such a bitch <laughs> but i didn't i didn't i i kept that inside my heart well now i haven't i've, I've shared that but <laughs> but i blocked them which also i realized didn't realize that if you block someone on instagram it just deletes all their comments which i was like can we not delete that comment though i want <laughs> i want that comment i want to see them if i ever want to retort uh, I'm just, I, <laughs> I, I'm a very aggressive person. Uh, oh, I, I, got, I lost the sauce. I'm, I've been lost in the chat. What's happening? Oh, oily, I see, I kind of want oily nails because I feel like them, like, peel off face coat would just pop off and then I wouldn't have to deal I don't know. With stain stainage and people yelling at me, why are my nails yellow? <laughs> my nails are hella yellow. Like, I thought, I was like, oh, Christine's nails. Yeah, those are like the most yellow ever because she's constantly swatching polishes. And then I guess I have nails just like Christine. <laughs> Where it's just like, no, it's just, it's just from wearing any nail polish. I'd be surprised. If, I wouldn't, sorry, I wouldn't be surprised if a white polish stained my nails. Like, <laughs> Oh my god. This is a lovely, lovely, like, almost two-coater. I think I might stay with two coats, because I'm going to cover it up, but... Like, oh my goodness. The other day, I think it was uh, when Denimus that asked me if I had, like, an overlay. And I literally had to Google that, because I was like, what the fuck's an overlay on your nails? I understand, like overlays for like streaming and like computer stuff but what the fuck's an overlay <laughs> and i googled it and i'm just like oh oh it's a gel no i don't fuck with gel i can't my brain too small it doesn't figure these things out <laughs> a yellow duck nails i mean i think that's more aesthetically pleasing though right if my nails are full-on yellow you know I got in fights. I'm starting fights on Instagram. Let's fucking go. <laughs> encryption key. E encryption key. I said in my video, how could this be at the bottom? It's a red. And then a bunch of people in my comments are like, encryption key is orange. I'm like, what? What? What are you all seeing that I'm not seeing? It's red. And then I, st I did a poll on Instagram and more people voted for fucking orange. My mind's blown. My mind! How? How is encryption key yellow? Or orange? Nope, that's not. I gotta clean my cuticles. I gotta clean the cutes. Encryption key, that's red. And I'm gonna fight and die on this hill because it does not make my uh, orange lover polish heart sing. How dare they say encryption key is fucking orange. The shimmer's orange, yeah. But the base, that's hella red. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, thank you, Amanda. Thank you. It's red. 
I don't understand. I, I'm so sad that encryption key got discontinued because I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. I'm in panic mode because that's like my favorite formula from Hollow Taco. So I'm just like, what if what if they just make not another one? Because I need a bright orange. Oh, my God. Or a yellow. Please, Hollow Taco. I know. I know. It does not sell well. But for me... <laughs> Wait, I've missed a lot. I've gone on. I, uh. Ugh. You can set people on. Oh. Hmm. Oh, I guess that's true about oily nails. Your, your pale. <laughs> Your polish would just kind of pop off, wouldn't it? Hmm. I mean, I guess there's pros and cons to everything, right? <laughs> uh. The new Essie collection has a dupe? Oh my god. I'm gonna have to look at swatches for that. Oh my god. Yeah, lemon spritz are sold out. Like, she said that they weren't going to redo qual- uh, They weren't going to up their stock. So they must have already been low on stock, right? I cannot believe it sold out. I thought it was going to die a chameleon coat death. Where it's just like, a year later, it's still in stock. <gasps> no, Lindry, what? No, Linry, what? What? <laughs> what did I do? Did I say something? Uh, let me have a sip of coffee. That will definitely help my anxiety. <clears throat> oh, oh, we're going to sneak peek at Nicole's video. <laughs> in the trash let's go okay I think this is probably dry enough to start that could be my hubris speaking but all right it is my hubris speaking but we're using Orly's white tips yes this is such a good white polish and for the price point are you kidding me it's like eight dollars and my sleeves keep rolling down. Let's see. I've got a brand new, or I got a bunch of, where am I? Let me just put all my brushes on my desk. That way I have no room to move. I hate pearls too. Hey, Sunday. I love you so much. You are everything in my life. Stop screaming at me. Don't bite me. What? No love bites. No love bites. The cat just doesn't want to be in my lap. Where's that one brush? Oh, when you're looking for that... Sp there we go. Oh, look at this brush. Look at this teeny tiny little thing. I oil my brushes. That's why it looks gross. <laughs> oh, thank you for coming in, warrior girl. I hope you had fun. <laughs> no, I got this as a Christmas gift. I okay, so I've seen like brushes with the rocks in it, and I'm like, okay, they must be weighty. This is this is like plastic bullshit. This brush is like floaty as fuck. Uh, okay, so again, this is squad goals. This is what we're going for. This, this, <laughs> it's not gonna turn out that good. Uh. Also, let me just share one thing. This is my all-time favorite nail art tool. It's from Ice Cream Nails. It's liter It literally just makes stamps. So when you're planning your nail art, 10 out of fucking 10. Like, I don't have to draw little nails? Are you kidding me? I don't like Ice Cream Nails as polish, though. <laughs> so, oops. I don't, I don't, maybe I've tried a bunch of duds, but 
you know, I've taken a couple of Kelly Marissa's uh, suggestions, and I'm like, maybe, maybe we aren't in this world together, Kelly. <laughs> Hello! How are you? Okay, so we're gonna just... Okay, this is not... I'm, I'm, I don't know why. I'm like, yes, 8 o'clock in the morning while I'm drinking my coffee. This is a great time to do nail art. Oh, the ice cream nail box. They're, like, so cute, but, like, also so fucking hard to use. Like, I got, like, on my Mooncat video, I got so many comments. People are like, I don't understand. These bottles are really easy to use. And I'm like, I'm on a struggle bus by myself, I guess. <laughs> okay, so we're doing an anime side profile. This is fairly easy to do. So, oh, and then I'm going to fuck it up. Watch. Ooh. Oh, you get to watch. Oh, wait, no. <gasps> no. Not white. What am I doing? I almost fucked everything. It's okay. We're getting a little too distracted. I almost fucked everything up. No, what we're using is... Color clubs in the buff. This is my go-to beige person skin tone. It's like so fucking opaque. It's such a nice nail art polish. An old stamping station. What does that mean? No, oh my god. Every time I open my Helmer with my ice cream nails polish in it, they just fall over. They give up on life. They're like, I'm, oh, I can't handle this. This is too much pressure. Oh, open drawer. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm just sitting here like, why, why are y'all falling over? You're cute, but like, you're fainting goats. You know what I'm saying? Also, that anime I was talking about, like, uh, Silver Sugar Fairy Apple Tail, whatever the fuck it was called. It was, it had the dumbest fucking name. I, I would recommend it. <laughs> it's a bad anime, but, you know, sometimes we need bad animes in our lives. Okay. <laughs> Don't fuck it up. Don't fuck it up. We're just doing an anime profile. Okay. So we'll start, we'll start with the head. That's easy enough, right? Just a little, just a little circle. That's so easy. Wow. Okay, we did this all right. We did it on Kikyo. We can do an anime profile. We could do it. Oh, printer paper. Oh, that's smart. That's smart. Okay, okay, okay. Now we do the swooshy. Oh my god, no. <laughs> uh, the process. That's great. That's Pinocchio. But then, oh yeah, we add a line. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. See? That's kind of... Oh, my God. looks terrible. <laughs> I've been feeling so bad about my nail art lately, and I'm just like, how about I just stream myself fucking up? What if I just do that? Okay, wait, wait. Come on. No. Oh. Yes. Okay, that's better. That's better. Ooh. Not by much. I think I went too prominent with the nose. That's okay. Okay, wait. We got this. Embrace, embrace. Ah! <laughs> this is the. Oh my god. Oh, let me bring up that Kikyo fucking nail art. Oh my god. Oh, I've got a DM. So many people DMing me. Why? How long ago was that Kikyo one? Jesus. Okay, wait. Alright, so, see the anime face? But my background was far more opaque, so I could correct my mistakes. Oh! Oh, okay, you couldn't see the DM, thank god. My mother fucking just texted me. I think it, it's okay. It'll suffice. It'll suffice. It's, it's on my nails. Okay. This polish is starting to dry. We'll give her a neck. You know, no, no neck monsters. Uh, as Tyra Banks would say. <laughs> I just gave her a double chin. <laughs> oh, Kiki over Mini Yasha, yes. Ugh, I'm a weeb through and through. Please judge me accordingly. Okay, I got fixed. I got fixed. 
I'm making worse. This is... Okay. <laughs> breathe. 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 Directly into the microphone. Smart. Okay. Um... Let's, let's just go. Let's make her naked for right now, and then we'll fix that later. We'll give her an outfit later on. Yes. Okay. And I have... See? Okay, this is a tip I've learned. You gotta wrap the tip. You have to. It doesn't matter. Because it will pull up. In not a cute way. Dude. That Kikio manicure was, like, my pride and joy. Like, that was one of those manicures where you're just like, it's in my head. Yes. Then you pull it out of your head and put it on your nails and you're like, I fucking did it. Also, I'm super curious why, the, like, the original artist for this, uh, this art, like, deleted the tweet. It's so strange. Like, I found on their Twitter, like, they referenced it, people who drew, like, fan art of it, and they were, like, being like, oh, thank you, and stuff. But, like, they deleted it. Maybe it's just, like, they were getting too many notifications, and they're like, eh, fuck it. <gasps> thank you. See, I still haven't swatched out this polish, see? But it's not an untried. I've tried it before. It's my go-to beige. Dude, oh my god. I hope we see more browns this year. I'm so excited. We got so many good browns last year. Oh my god. Okay. Hey, Sunday, you're very distracting. Stop rotating my chair, please. I know. You want into my lap. So bad. So bad. I know. I know. Stop rotating my chair, you bitch! Oh, I love my cats. She wants in my lap, but she's not going to stay in my lap because I've got a blanket in it. Oh, okay. That's actually... Oh, hey, baby! Hi! Hi. Huh? We doing something? <laughs> she, she jumped up. She couldn't handle it. Baby. Yeah? Oh, oh, now we've realized. We've realized. Dude, I... Okay. So I recorded a video recapping all my nail art of the year. Oh, I fucked up. And... <laughs> No! Talking. This is like the first thing they tell you not to do in art school. They're like, all right, art time is quiet time. Shut the fuck up because you will fuck up. No. But like, wait, what was I talking about? <laughs> that train, that thought train just derailed so hard. Oh my God. Okay, so we're doing basics. I think I'm going to give her the choker, like, in the artwork. Because I think that's kind of cute. Oh, yes! We got good browns this year. Oh, my God. Some amazing browns. I hope we see so many more. Oh. Hollow Taco, like, killed it with their browns. I'm so pleased. And that, like, Hollow Taco, uh, the Barista collection, oh, my God. Oh, that's what I was talking about. My cats. They wouldn't stop. I I recorded a recap of, like, a year of nail art. And then, like, Oreo was having a freak out. She didn't know how to handle it. She was like, I'm going to scream the entire time. And I'm just going to full-on charge, charge into the cat tree behind you. <laughs> There's nothing stopping me. I am speed. No, it's just my cats don't like it when, like, they hear the record button go off on my phone and they're like, what's happening? <laughs> I would like to be in the room with you. Oh, this don't look terrible. Once I add the hair and the outline, hmm, it's not going to be bad. Wait, you didn't like burnt bridges at first? Oh. <gasps> Oh my god. I can't believe you didn't like burnt bridges at first. I don't remember you saying that. Like, you're, I think it was your video that convinced me to buy burnt bridges. I was like, yes. Yes. That, 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 that's a beautiful color. Mm. 
Nicole has convinced me to buy several polishes. Uh, one I regret. <laughs> Only one, and it was an add to cart to get to free shipping. It was a, uh, ooh, what is that? Glitter is the new black. I was like, hey, Nicole seemed to like that, all right. Look, I'll just add that to cart. It's so gross. <laughs> it's such a terrible polish. It's so thick and goopy. I hate it. Oh my god. Oh, I like I like the idea of it, but my god, it's like soup level quality thickness. <laughs> she thick. Oh my god. Burnt bridges is so pretty. I can't. I can't. All right. Now, now we do white. Oh, maybe we should stamp. I gotta wait for that, this damp to dry. I gotta peel this. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Wait. Yeah! That was nice. <laughs> the china glazes were so unbelievable, unbelievably thick. Last year, china glaze just had an issue. It was like every other friggin' collection. Oh, my thumbprint. Every other collection was just garbage. Like, in, like, color wise and just quality. And it's like, what is happening here? This year, china glaze fucking killed it. That Wonka collection. I still can't get over it. That Wonka collection was perfect. Oh, I can't wait to use this bird. I don't understand what is up with this bird and why it's in the, this weird... <laughs> what is happening with this bird? But I love him. But we're using... Oh my god, you could like get my ID off that. This is... My, quali my camera quality is pretty nice. Alright, uh, don't redraw that and frame me, okay? Let's just stamp real quick. I got this stamper off of Amazon and it's really nice. That, like, this quality, like, it's a nice sticky. Yeah. And we're busting out just, oh, my stamper. I'm just busting out my Born Pretty black polish. This is pretty nice. Sometimes I'll stamp with Hollow Taco's uh, one coat black, but. It's, Hollow Taco's one coat black, blue, black is so, so opaque that it just will bleed very easily. <laughs> so I don't want to deal with that. I don't want to deal with bleed. Oh my God. You can like see my, my phone. Oh my God. That's sick. Look at that iPhone 8. Yes. <laughs> I'm never upgrading my phone. Are you kidding me? Okay. Here's like a. Here's a whatever. What else do I need for stamping? How do I stamp? I need some tape. Okay, I got the pot. When you stamp, you always forget something. Um, so I've got my polish, my stamper, my scraper, my tape. I think that's everything. All right. <laughs> oh my. Like. Does anyone else love that Wonka collection as much as I did? Oh my god, it was just so thematic. I love a theme. I'm a sucker for a theme. You can sell me. And the only weak polish in that collection was the pink, which was a creme. But everything else was amazing. And that creme can be easily duped out. It's just a baby pink. Like, or pig pink. Yes, look at that little wormy. Dude, I'm so excited about this. This is the first time I'm trying this brand. <gasps> yes. Oh, hot damn, girl. Clean. Well, I bet it would be better on white. Look at that. Look how stressed he was. <laughs> or was? Is. <laughs> uh, see the movie? No. Dude, I don't know. I I saw like an hour of the Johnny Depp one. And I pieced out. I was like, I can't. I can't handle you. <laughs> I love you, Johnny. You're a great and hot vampire. Or pirate. <laughs> Dude, my friend growing up in, like, middle school and high school had such a crush on Johnny Depp, like, in Edward Scissorhands. 
And I'm just like, this is the creepiest role he's ever played. Are you kidding me? He does not look cute. Oh. Like, Edward Scissorhands, Johnny Depp, he ain't. He ain't it. <laughs> Maybe that's my hot take. Oh. Okay. We're going to do the worm now. While we let that sit. I, the last movie I saw in theaters was the Warcraft movie, and that's because we had friends in town, and, like, we were treating, we, we, like, uh, we were, like, showing them around the town and whatnot, and we took them to the zoo, and, uh, maybe I should zoom in just a bit more, and, like, we were like, oh, okay, let's go see the Warcraft film. Okay, this is just going to be, like, me drawing spaghetti on my nails. Which is going to be amazing. Spaghetti. Oops. Fuck. <laughs> weirdo. Yeah, he is a weirdo dressed in fucking bondage gear. And, like, the way he talks is so creepy. I'm like, I can't fucking handle this. Like, Sweeney Todd, Johnny Depp, I could fuck with. But... Like, Edward Scissorhands, Johnny Depp? No, 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 no. Dude, did anyone watch that trial? <laughs> that was... That was crazy. God. Like, I swear, my YouTube algorithm was just like, yeah, you want to watch this? And I'm like, ah, I'm not that interested. And it's like, no, you want to watch this. So here's a bunch of people reacting to it. I am so pleased, though, on that Hall Taco, like, react video. Like, it seems like I cited everything correctly, and I didn't, like, steal content, which I was so worried about. Because I was, like, I, I'm, like, really stressed because Simply hasn't posted her video yet. So I'm, like, did I just, like, I don't want to, like, steal her content, you know? I want I want to respect that, that that was her content. She gave us the information. I don't want to be a thief over here with my grimy little hands being like, yes, yes, I've been waiting for this. <laughs> oh. oh, no, man. I'm just, I was so stressed, but it looks like I did everything right. And I, oh, God, I just wanted to make sure because I don't. Like, I have high school under, well, I have college understanding of citing sources and stuff like that, too. I, I did that in college before I dropped out. <laughs> uh, you can tell which one of uh, their children my parents love the most. I dropped out of college, and my sibling is a doctor. <laughs> My sibling has a doctorate. Not the useful kind where, like, on an airplane. <laughs> like, when, when someone calls, is there a doctor on board? You know, my sibling could technically go, yes, there is. They couldn't do anything <laughs> about it. <laughs> but no, like, they have, like, a, a doctorate. And, oh, my God, that was amazing. That's actually why I went to New England uh, a few, like, last year. Uh, we went to Mohegan Sun, a casino. And uh, we went there to celebrate their doctorate. God, I'm so proud. So proud. I've got a fucking doctor in the family. Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. That's so crazy. I call, <laughs> I call them doctor last name constantly. <laughs> and it upsets them. I'm like, yes. God, it's so crazy they're a doctor. I'm so fucking proud of them holy shit that was a lot of work and and they came away with their doctorate like only 10 grand in debt only 10 grand in fucking school debt are you kidding me oh god my entire family was so bummed when the <laughs> when the forgiveness didn't go through because mm. then my siblings college uh debts would have been gone mine would have been gone i only owe like 500 bucks I only, like, took a loan for three grand, so. Wow. That looks straight and amazing. Oh, I might need to start reverse stamping this. Reverse stamp and 
I can't words. Oh, but I'm going to use the Holo Taco Retro Collection. I feel like that's going to look so cute and that's like fits the gummy worm theme so well. And I haven't used the Retro Collection in a hot minute. I think the last time I used it was, oh no, I used it in a ghost manicure, um, which sucked. <laughs> uh, uh. Oh. I'm I'm just I'm very happy that that hot taco video didn't like infringe on Simply's like shit. I don't want to steal her shit because I'm like your queen, my queen. Okay, what what color should his face be? <gasps> oh, we should color in his eyes though. His eyes should definitely just be white. And his teeth, right? I don't know what color worms' teeth is are <laughs> words. Box office bomb. Yes. Yes, Box Office Bomb is the best. The best, Orange. Are you, like, Hollow Taco nailed it. Yeah, no, yeah, because uh, because they got a doctorate, they also got, like, um, a, like, a fellowship and stuff like that. And they were doing, like, a bunch of research while working on it, so the school was paying for them to be there. So, uh... They paid off a bunch of her debts, which was freaking amazing. Okay, I'm terrible at reverse stamping. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I might need the dotting tool. Dotting tool? Tiny, teeny, tiny dots? Oh, here we go. This one's tiny. Yeah, 10 grand in debt only. And my grandmother was, like, so upset that the forgiveness didn't go through. <laughs> She's like, I'm gonna just slowly gift you $10,000. That way you don't have school debt. My sister's like, it's interest free right now, Grammy. Um, I don't, I don't, I'm not gonna, <laughs> oh, <gasps> his teeth. Oh, yeah, that's hella cute. I fucking got outside the lines. Damn it. Someone get me a kindergarten coloring book, please. It's Slay. He should be orange. His face. Yes. Okay. His face will be orange. Yes. I think right now the faces are dry enough for white. I risk everything. I don't wait for things to properly dry. Let me base coat this shit. And because I'm not a coward, I've been like harassing like Danny Shout and Fanaticare and whatnot. And I've just been telling them constantly, risk it all with Sesh Feet. I will be top coating this with Sesh Feet because I'm not a fucking coward. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I didn't come here to play games. I came here to do nail art and I will risk it all with sesh feet. It has bit me in the ass several times. Dude, I, I picked up the KB Shimmer, uh, top coat during, or yeah, top coat during Black Friday. And I was so disappointed in it. I was like, I took Kelly's recommendations again, like a fool. I don't know why. Kelly and I just don't vibe. Like, I love her content, but, like, her recommendations always let me down. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, Kelly, I love you. Uh, in a platonic, non-weird way. Not in a, like, a, I'm gonna stalk you and find where you live way. Like, I just appreciate your content. <laughs> uh, I just, that looks like I just gave her a little goatee. Yeah, oh my god. This is looking terrible. How could I? Gotta trust the process. Sometimes the process fails us, though. Sometimes. Sometimes the process. Okay. I'm looking a little... Ooh, I dipped into my dry paint. That That's gonna work real well. Weep. 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 Oh my god. Oh, my white balance is fucked! I just don't think the KB Shimmer top coat dries faster than Zesh V. Like, I feel like my Sesh V dries quicker. I did a manicure with my Sesh V and then I walked away and I was like, okay, cool. I can do things with my hands and I touched things and it just <laughs> slid. And I'm like, well, that was cool. <laughs> that was real cash money. 
I don't, and like, I, like a fool, I decided to buy the, uh, cause I wanted to hit the free shipping threshold like a dumbass. Uh, so I bought the refill bottle too. So it's been my swatching top coat for a minute. That just looks like I gave her a goatee. Dude, what am I doing? I'm living life wildly. And I didn't even give her any hair on the back of her neck. Because that's how people work. No hair on the back of your neck. <laughs> well, no gummy worms on the back of your neck. God, hand, stop shaking. Please, calm down. Shh, we're okay. I just... I value greatly dry time because I don't want to be handicapped by just not doing things with my hands. So I need something that dries as fast as sesh feet. Like sesh feet is king. And like someone asked me to do like a sesh feet like how to because like, you know, a lot of people struggle with sesh feet, like with shrinkage and whatnot. What am I doing? So, actually, that looks kind of cute. I kind of like the little doggy. <gasps> and now it doesn't look like a goatee anymore. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. We live with our choices. See? Trust the process. That's that's the thing. Like, Sesh V is, like, easy, readily, re readily available. Like, it's on Amazon. You can find it anywhere. And it's just one of those things where it's, like, the price point, too. I value price point a lot as well. I felt, I just felt like the KB Shimmer just let me down. I, I was expecting so, I, that's the thing is I was expecting a lot. If I didn't, if I wasn't expecting a lot, it'd be, it's an okay top coat. Like, I don't want to like shit on it. It's, it's a good top coat. But I was just expecting the world. Like I was expecting it to pay my bills, paint my nails and do a bunch of stuff. But <laughs> And it just didn't do any of that. Weird. Um, I, I just heard it hyped up a lot. So I was like, this is going to be, that's it. I found the top coat. The next one I want to try is Glisten and Glows. Because I've only heard good thing about Glisten and Glows. But Glisten and Glows website hurts my eyes. So. <laughs> that is very design is my passion. Like no hate, no hate to like the creator and stuff like that. But my God, it doesn't have to be pink and black like MySpace. <laughs> It's okay. We can live, you can live life wildly. Oh, painting tiny worms on my nails. Also with this manicure, I'm going to be outlining it with uh, my Sharpie. So, which is a fun little thing I discovered by myself. No one told me that I could do that. Oh my God, my hand is shaking so bad. This fucking tremor. Like, I have, like, a natural tremor in my nail, in my hand, but, like, <laughs> it just won't fucking stop. Oh, uh, well, nope, wrong nail. I know what I'm doing. The glisten glow is the same as KB Shimmer? Really? Okay, we gotta lock it. That's also, like, one thing for, like, you learn, like, in art and stuff like that is locking yourself. So I'm, like, locking myself, my pinky. And it's like, knows how my tremors kind of stopped. It's because I've, I've locked myself. I'm also locking my elbows into my rib cage, So I'm not shaking as much. It's just it, like, yeah, I'm still shaking, but the tremor is definitely calmed down. I'm surprised no one has pointed out like the tremor I have <laughs> in my swatch videos. I'm always shaking. Caffeine just makes it worse. And then anxiety. I'm a chihuahua. That looks that looks kind of cute. I'm I'm digging this now. Yes. Okay. This is, I just need to stop shaking and fill in those little itty bitty divots. Little itty bitty. Yes. Oh, that's cute. And you can't see because I'm blown the fuck out. Can we like autocorrect? Perfect. <laughs> I was like, let me for my stream. I'm gonna pick a black. Well, actually, you know what my help. on my journey the thousand mile oh I just dented my nail that's I deserve it oh my god I haven't opened this in a while this might help yes okay the white balance is slightly better 
But I did dent my nail, so. Fucking scraped. Scraped that bit. Yes. Also, if you're curious, what's on? I didn't put it in the description. I always put it in the description. I forgot to. What's on my other hand, or Cindy hand, is color clubs, anything but basic. This is stunning. Stunning green polish. I'm in love. Oh my goodness. I swatched this yesterday, and I haven't taken it off yet. <laughs> Normally, I swatch two polishes a day to get my collection down, but... I can't part with this green. It's so pretty. Okay, I gotta fix the the fuck up. The fetty fuck up. Dude, I don't... I'm just... I'm mad because I finished the anime I was talking about. The sugar fairy bullshit one. <laughs> and now I have to find another anime to enjoy. <laughs> In the meantime. Look at... I scraped it off so good. Yes. That's how we live life. Dangerously and chaotically. God, that's kind of disappointing to find out that they're kind of like all the same. I don't know. It's it's kind of insane how, like, much, like, where you live. Okay, well, now I have to switch to white. Because <laughs> then you can't see him. It's kind of crazy, like, how much your environment affects things, though. Because, like, I was watching Fanaticure, and she was complaining about bubbles in her top coat. And I'm like, I have never, ever experienced this. But then I realized I'm below the sea level, and she's in a treehouse in California, very much ascended. <laughs> so I'm just like, okay. Um, it might just be, uh, I'm below the sea level. <laughs> Living dangerously. Dude. Dude, we got so lucky this year with hurricanes. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm hoping, I'm hoping this year we're just as lucky. Because right now, we don't have home insurance. Yay! There is an insurance crisis right now in the state of Florida. Oh my god. Oh my god. I just, I just dripped box office bomb on my thumb. Oh my, wait. Okay, I have to ask, what is with the nail polish community and fucking Facebook? I'm gonna lose my mind. I can't. I can't. I thought we all left Zuck behind. <laughs> I literally thought we all left Zuck behind. And yet, here he is infiltrating the nail polish community. Okay. This is very difficult to do, not right up to my face. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is so difficult. Uh, normally I don't have a microphone in my way. Okay, this is box office bomb. Oh, he's so cute. I love him. Oh my god, should I name him? I want to name him Herbert. Because this collection reminds me of Sherbert. And Herb oh fuck, I went outside the lines. Give me a coloring book, guys. Yes. Okay. Go we old? Oh, God, no. I fucking, I can't stand Facebook. Motherfucker. Like, I literally, the only reason why I have a Facebook account is because my grandmother, that is the only way she'll communicate with me. I'm like, hi, Grammy. Like, here's my cell phone number. And she's like, Facebook Messenger. And I'm like, you. Ah. and like oh god i'll never forget like we all went to disney world and like you know she took my sister and i to disney world and <laughs> and like i had my phone and i had the disney app on my phone which gives you a map and like tells you like wait times and like where bathrooms are and stuff like that and i'm like aha let's let's go to this it doesn't have a line and my grandma looks at it me and she's like wow those phones those smartphones seem really useful and I'm like yep that's that's why they've been popular for the last 10 years Grammy <laughs> what 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 did what did you expect that this was just a fun little fad we were all oh my god why are you not going down it's not going down come on come on you can do it yeah blue 
that uh, I had to recreate a Facebook account to fucking like connect with the nail polish community. I was like, this is insanity. You all are crazy. I can't. I fucking can't. I'm so mad. So mad. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. But I will. I just... Oh my god. Please stop tremoring. Please. Please. My hands. My hands. I, I, could, I could never be a surgeon. I don't have them steady hands. I'll figure out my light source later. Because I am always blocking it. Which is a 10 out of 10 meme. Like, I'm like, wow, this is, I well lit it and all that in my test. And then I never threw my hand in front of it to see, like, how it's going to look when I'm painting. <laughs> uh, wait, yellow next. Yellow. We're not going in rainbow order. It's not satisfactory, but, you know, it is what it is. Tis life. God, that sounds like a pain! Oh my god, you had to join the Facebook group just to buy shit? Oh my god. God. What? Like, I'll say, like, I get it. Like, website design is super hard. And, like, the cost of maintaining stuff and whatnot is really difficult. But, like, I'll see some of these indie brands and I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? This isn't, this isn't my space. This isn't, like you know my creative creativity hour like <laughs> like like that's the thing that's the issue i have with the glisten glow website it's so hard to find the products or the products it's so hard to find like the checkout area and stuff like that i'm like if you're making it difficult for me to give you money that's an issue oh what the what two hundred dollars <laughs> That's insanity. It that has to be something like um uh promotion wise, like maybe they're trying to get their Facebook analytics up, so they're forcing people to use Facebook. Like you, you know when like someone like is like they promote something on Instagram and they're like uh leave a comment for a DM. It's like that's just an algorithmic thing. Like they're just trying to boost their engagement, which is bullshit, but you know. This like, did I double up on the purple? <gasps> Wait. Oh my god, he's so fucking cute. Oh my god, he's adorable. <gasps> I love him. Herbert. Okay, I gotta give him a white back, though. Okay, Herbert is gone. Herbert is dead, and we're drinking water. I have a fucking email. Why? Mooncat, don't email me. Not right now. <gasps> no people would not pay a hundred dollars for a nail polish what the fuck like i do not understand i do not understand the nail polish like community when they like when they're like buying discontinued polishes and they're like yes i will pay a hundred dollars actually i think the matte side would be better i dropped something what did i drop Oh, my stamping plate. Oh, no, my carpet. That's that's dry. It's dry. That will be my last fucking words. I got to pick it up. <laughs> How confidently I go. It will be dry. Surely the nail polish on that stamping plate is dry. Um, and then I can't get it out of my carpet. <laughs> uh, that that would be funny. My hu hubris. Get Jesus, stop sticking together. You! I can't, I can't, I don't know. The repurchasing of nail polish, like, where people pay $100. Oh my god, these things, these mats just want to stick together. They don't want to play nice. Okay. Does that, okay, that, oh, it's still very bright, but that's fine. Brighter than my future. Oh, well. Okay. Okay. I will, I will never understand people who pay more than retail price for nail polish. 
I know you've done that, Nicole. I just don't get it. But I'm very frugal. I'm a very, very frugal person. I don't, I don't fuck around. I just, I feel immense guilt and anxiety about a lot of things. <laughs> I'm just like, well, okay. This, this is where I fucked up on my test nail was the coloring in of all this nonsense. So I just, my brain, I need to think, how do I do this? Hmm. Okay, what color should I go with first? Well, obviously it's box office bomb. It's the superior nail polish. It's the only nail polish that you'll ever need. <laughs> Which I think is still available. I, I, oh God, I can't believe that um, the jelly collection just didn't sell that well. I don't know. It just seems like it should have. I guess maybe, like, the nail polish community, like, maybe there's just a lot of hype for jellies. And, but the average consumer is like, I don't want to see my nail line. Honestly, I hate, I hate jellies. But the reason why I like hollow tacos is because it covers up my stainage. And that's probably because Christine has deeply stained nails. So she probably wanted to cover up her stainage. Oh, for, okay. I thought I could dot it on like an idiot. But it turns out I'm going to have to brush it on. Like a big giga chad not dumbass. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, I couldn't imagine paying more than $20 for a nail polish bottle. I get, like, if it's your white whale and you're just like, I need this to, like, complete a collection. I understand the collecting part of this hobby. Like, a lot of it is just full on, like, to complete collections and whatnot. And $20 isn't terrible to, like, complete something you've been seeking after. But, like, anything, like, over $100, like... In my Mooncat video where I was talking about apple in my eye, I was like, do not fucking overpay for this nail polish. It's just a goddamn green nail polish. Calm down. Calm down. I don't, I just don't understand, like, I just felt like, uh, what words? My brain's, like, losing all functions. Like, it had functions. <laughs> I just, I don't understand, like, how this collection didn't sell that good. It's so cute and thematic. I don't know, man. Oh, okay. Let's do purple next. Like, like I will say, like, Holo Taco gets so much fucking backlash for like selling out or doing limited edition things, and I just don't fucking understand it. Every other brand, like I, like when uh, House of Hades sold out. I didn't see nearly that much hate in the Mooncat, like, discords and subreddits. I'm just like, what the fuck? Why does Hollow Taco get all this fucking hate? Like, like, I understand it's an influencer-backed brand, so, like, maybe a lot of people just don't like Christine, which, like, ugh. I get frustrated because I'm like, I feel like a lot of the criticisms that are leveled at Christine aren't fair. Like, she literally has, like, college funds and set up stuff for whatnot. And, I like, I'm not saying, like, just because you donate to charity means you're, like, absolved of all, like, criticism. But, like, the amount of hate that gets sent her way is just so insane. I'm like, guys. Guys. <laughs> oh, no. I don't know where to put my next dot. Uh, I don't know. Like, I, okay, I'm gonna personally say, I thought the Pitbull drama was fucking overdramatic. Jesus Christ. Her boyfriend had an opinion in a country where most of you don't fucking live. <laughs> and he's not passing laws. It's okay, you can have your Pitbull. I understand if you were upset by that and you wanted to just inform them that, hey, it's, you know, that upset me. I get it. But the hatred, the visceral hatred that came their way, I was like, okay, okay. I watched that podcast and I was like, it's not, it wasn't that bad. And they apologized after. They were like, you know what? Maybe we talked out of our ass a little bit. And people were still, still fucking hating on him. And I'm just like, okay, let's calm down, guys. Literally, he's not passing laws. I'm, I don't know how to tell you that he's not passing laws. I don't. <laughs> he didn't say every pit bull should be dragged out into the street and shot dead. <laughs> it's 
<laughs> Let's calm down. <laughs> oh, God. could you imagine if he said that though? That would have been based. No. <laughs> no. 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 That would you know? I'm here. I'm a contrarian, so I just like uh, people getting mad on the internet. <laughs> Yeah, I just think a lot of people don't like them. Like, okay, and I get, like, I don't, I don't know. It's fine not to like people, but, like, don't watch them then. Just just close them and block them. Like, I, I'm getting pissed off because TikTok literally won't stop recommending James Charles fucking Jeffree Star and Trisha Paytas to me. And literally, no matter how many fucking times I tell TikTok, I don't want to see these racist uh, predators. Uh, they're also something else. They're... They're racist, they're predators, and I don't know. I don't want to see these people on my timeline. I'll block their accounts constantly, and then TikTok will be like, hey, did you see this new Trisha Paytas fucking TikTok? And I'm like, I really don't want to. I don't know what how to tell you that. <laughs> I'm, get, I'm like getting so frustrated by TikTok. But at least on YouTube, I find that when I block a channel, it stays blocked. I haven't had YouTube be like, hey, have you seen this yet? And I'm like, no. Eh. Please go away. Like, yeah, I just, I'm like, you know, the moment all that James Charles shit came out, I just blocked him on everything. And I was like, okay, I'll never see his content again. Problem solved. I've done it. I've never have to, like, see this. The moment that, like, uh, Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson shit came out, I was like, okay, cool. Block him on everything. I'll never see them again. I don't have to think about them again. It's not that hard. <laughs> predator <pains. laughs> it's so crazy he's a fucking predator and he's releasing a product that's designed for children let's fucking go jesus christ how how is that man not in fucking jail i'll never know because he literally admitted to it he's like yeah i sent dms to minors i'm like like how hard like i wonder like when you have oodles and caboodles of cash and like social nonsense how hard is it just not not to talk to children. <laughs> I have to imagine it's pretty easy. But, oh well. That is what it is. Oh my god. This is not looking cute. Oh well. We'll live with our with our life choices. Dude, I can't. I, oh god, the, like, the parents, like, I can't imagine, like, a lot of people will, like, come to me and be like, why aren't you having children? I'm like, have you seen YouTube? Like, how do you, how do you stop your child from consuming that kind of content? How? How? And, like, like, a lot of the kids, like, I want, like, um, what was that kid's name that, uh, had the drama with Miranda Sings? Like, she fucked him up and stuff. God, what was his name? But he was, like... Yeah, I kept it a secret from my parents because I didn't want them knowing. It's like, I remember being a little shit on MySpace and the shit I didn't tell my parents. But this is, like, I wasn't contacting, like, YouTube celebrities and stuff, so. I don't, well, YouTube celebrities weren't a thing. I remember in high school, I wrote a paper. <laughs> I, I wrote a paper in high school because YouTube had just sold itself to Google. And I wrote a paper, I was like, this is going to change entertainment. Like, here we go. Entertainment's about to change forever. And I got an A on that paper, which felt really good. <laughs> Adam McIntyre, yes! Oh my god, that poor kid. I was, like, watching, like, one, one of the videos where he's talking about it, and he's like, anyone who's over the age of, like, 30, do not contact me. And I'm like, oh, well, I guess I'm out. I'll, I'll just bounce from your stream. I understand, though. <laughs> Okay, trust me when I outline this, it's going to look cute. Right now, it just looks like butt. <gasps> Why wasn't I painting the other hairs, too? I've wasted so much polish. Oh, I give up. I give up. Dude, talking about YouTube drama. The H bomber guy thing? About, what's his name? What was his... James Summerton, like, I was curious, because, you know, I'm a weeb, and he kept saying Yuri on Ice was, like, well, white, straight women say it's not gay, 
And I was like, I've never heard of Yuri, Yuri on Ice. It just never crossed my path. It wasn't like the type of anime I was into at the time. And I was like, okay, well, I'll watch it. And I'll see as a white straight woman if I can just maybe see his point. I'm just curious. Motherfucking shit. That was gay as hell. I've watched gay porn that was straighter than fucking Yuri on Ice. <laughs> like episode one, I was like, oh, <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, Yuri on Ice was so cute, though. Oh, I loved it so much. Oh, my God. What a great anime. It was so good. Like, it, like the sport part, like, the will they, won't they part, that was so much fun. Like, every time they go into, like, a skating competition, I'd be like, I my heartbeat would be going up, and I'd be like, oh, oh, oh no, are they going to fuck up the routine? <laughs> Are they going to fuck it up? And then, like, you'd have the in-between storylines of the will they, won't they. Oh, my God. That looks so fucking cute. I was just like, yes. Yes. Thank you. And I don't understand why James Summerton was saying that white, straight white ladies are, like, coming after this anime saying it's not, <laughs> it's not gay. I'm like, uh, I'm using Bonder to reverse stamp, which was a tip I got off of Reddit. Because before, what I was doing was I was taking my Sesh Feet top coat, waiting for it to dry just a teeny bit, and then stamping over it. Can you imagine how my stamps looked at that time? Yeah, they looked like shit. <laughs> Weirdly, because my top coat would smudge. Okay, I'm going to let that dry. Okay, now we're going to paint the rest of the noodles here. Yes. I just... I like... Why would James Summerton ever say that about Yuri on Ice? I'm just so confused. Like, from the get-go, I was like, the first thing that happens in the anime kind of happens a lot in anime, where it's, like, full like full frontal nude of a dude, but, like, something's blocking the dangle. <laughs> and I was like, okay, that's that's a little odd, but that happens in, like, every anime. A dude normally stands up, and then you, can, you get to see him. Ooh. But fucking okay i zoomed out a little but <laughs> i just like that this just doesn't no this does not compute yuri oh god but yuri on ice was so cute oh my god it made my heart swell i was like i love i love watching people fall in love <laughs> i'm a basic bitch i'm like yes can i watch two people fall in love who are so nervous they don't want to tell each other's feeling or Tell uh, the other person their feelings. Oh, I'm here for it. Except for, oh god, the saint's magical power is omnipotent. omnipotent. That anime is so fucking good. And it's so much better in Japanese. Like, I'm not a sub or dub queen. Like, I don't care. You can watch from whatever language. But the saint's magical power is so much better in Japanese. <laughs> I don't think they got very good voice actors. Or maybe it's because the main, like boy to fall in love with uh he his lines don't sound nearly as good when you understand what he's saying <laughs> what's my favorite anime as an adult Ooh, oh god oh as an adult oh jesus christ okay adult brain i can rewatch overlord several several times overlord is like a classic like oh i'm stuck in a video game anime um but like it's so good like, you watch him become the villain, and I love that. <laughs> oh, God. But, oh, God, romantic-wise? <gasps> ooh, romance-wise? Probably. Ooh. Oh, romance-wise. Kisami Kiss? What is that anime called? Uh, Kisami. Kisami. Kiss. Ki. Yes. I would no. Okay, I was so pissed. So wait, let me catch up on chat. Wait. You used to sponge on her top coat to make a sticky base for stamping? What? <laughs> Are you what? Oh my god. No, okay, so Crunchyroll purchased Funimation, which is really funny because Crunchyroll started off as a pri pirating website. That's like 10 out of 10. Really funny now that they charge for the products. <laughs> and they've got actual licensing deals. And then they purchased Funimation. 
And they, they were like, okay, cool. We're going to slowly start moving over the entire Funimation catalog. And I was like, okay, cool. So I set up a Crunchyroll account. And then when they had moved everything, I was like, okay, cool. <gasps> what is this? What happened here? Why? Dunde. Fuck. This is what happens when you talk and paint at the same exact time. You live dangerously. I'm flying too close to the sun, guys. I don't know. Oh, no. I don't know which dot is what. <laughs> what have I done? No, so Crunchyroll moved over their entire catalog, right? Or Funimation's entire catalog, which, you know, is normal. I'm like, okay, cool. I'll, I, I want to watch Kisami Kiss. It's like, it's a fun little anime about a girl getting god powers and falling in love with her familiar. And I'm like, that's, that's adorable. I love that for me. <laughs> so I, I was like, okay, let me look it up. It's obviously been moved over. And no, it hasn't. I can't find it in Crunchyroll system. And I'm like, that's weird. And then like three months later, I was like, okay, I really, I really want to watch this anime again. Uh, let me bring it up again. And uh, let's see if it's finally moved over. It hasn't. So at this point, I'm like, okay, I'm going to contact Crunchyroll's support. I'm like, hey, when is this anime moving over? Because it's been like six months and you guys said you moved the full catalog. And I got like a auto respond message that's like we know you love anime would you like <laughs> we love we know that you love anime thank you for the suggestion and i'm like no where's the anime <laughs> so i eventually i start deep hunting and i'm like they can't be this stupid they can't be this fucking stupid so i find out on wikipedia what the actual like japanese name of the anime is and it's kama kama Kam is Sama kiss. And I'm like, okay, let me type that in. And it comes right up right away. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? And I'm like, why wouldn't you include the the Japan the the English search results? Like why? It has an, a different name in English. Why wouldn't that be a part of the the search search words? God, I w really wish I remembered how to speak English. That would be, like, super helpful right now. <laughs> Why wouldn't you include that in the search result? And they just didn't. And But I got to watch it again, so. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Do you, If you want to cry, if you want to cry, Violet Evergarden. I... <laughs> Violet Evergarden. That's on Netflix. That makes me cry every fucking time. Like, not, like, gentle tear down the cheek crying. That's, like, full-blown having a mental breakdown crying. So, you gotta get, you gotta be prepared for Violet Evergarden. Because it'll just come at you. <laughs> Violet Evergarden is so intense. Oh, my God. But it's so cute. Oh. Okay. So, now everyone's just like, okay, we get it. You're a weeb. You've done it. Congrats. You've convinced us never to watch anime. It's your worst. It's my worst quality. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to think. Uh, why am I not painting the other worms on my other nails at the same time? Has my brain fall out? Fall out? Yes, it has. It's gone. No more brain. That's unfortunate for me, but you know, it's his life. Sometimes unfortunate things happen. Dude, I try to watch a series of unfortunate events, and I just, like, fell asleep. Dude, what's everyone's, like, fall... <laughs> My tears at times? What streaming service is that on? What's everyone's favorite show to fall asleep to? Because I've got a doozy. My favorite show to fall asleep to is Ancient Aliens. <laughs> it's just so funny. Because I fuck with conspiracy theories just a bit. I don't believe in any conspiracy theories. But I just love how intense these people feel about Bigfoot. <laughs> They'll be like, there's underground caves in fucking America. And that's how Bigfoot moves around. But, like, a bunch of men wandering around the woods in the Midwest, fucking looking for feet. That shit's funny. <laughs> oh, Demon Slayer. Let's fucking go. 
I I like Demon Slayer. I just it was another anime that was just overhyped to me, so I had higher expectation. But the animation's fucking flawless. Oh my god, that animation's so fucking clean. Oh my god. Yes, bitch. No, but like, okay. So my my opinion on conspiracy theories, right? Is like there's funny conspiracy theories and then there's ones that hurt people, right? So like looking or looking in the Midwest for big feet, that's kind of funny, you know. That's funny, and they're not hurting anyone. They're just wandering around the w- woods, fucking around, having a good time, right? That's funny. But like the Jews own all the banks, that's not funny. That's that's hurtful. <laughs> that's not a good conspiracy theory to have in your heart. The Jews having space lasers to set California on fire. We're crossing a bit to the funny bit again. But, but a lot of dangerous people believe that, so it's not funny. <laughs> um, the gays having hurricane machines in their basements to flood Florida, that's back to funny. I really hope the gays kill me with their hurricane machine. I just, I can't. Get me off this planet. Get me out of this state. <laughs> Thank you so much for popping in. I appreciate it. This I, this is chaos. I'm just rambling. And people probably have different views of me now. They're like, okay, Lenry watches Ancient Aliens and anime. That That's gross. Oh, I really wish I could stop tremoring. Oh. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, why didn't I stamp this? Okay, here we go. Here we go, boys and girls. Yes, look at how cute he is, <gasps> Herbert. I I I might correct the the white outline just a bit by filling that in, but oh my God, Herbert, he's everything. We love Herbert. Wait, what? Wait, what? What the heck? <laughs> okay, um, oh, let's get on camera, Lenry. We can do that. I might actually, you know, I might fuck. Okay, that, where's my sesh be? Okay. Um, you were shopping? Oh, what'd you buy? Oh, yes! Nicole, oh my god, I love that. Like, what's the most outlandish thing you can say? What is the bullshit you can propagate? Oh my god, yes. Do I give her eyes? Hmm. I was thinking about giving her eyes, but I feel like it's going to be too difficult. And I was planning to put Herbert. I was planning to stamp him on her too, but Herbert's pretty big. I think I'll leave Herbert alone. Art supplies. Ooh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay, I don't believe in ancient aliens, okay? I just fuck with it. <laughs> like, it's just really funny. Like, I was watching an episode of Ancient Aliens, and they were like, okay, I'm risking all guys. <laughs> Seshvit. So I was watching an episode of Ancient Aliens, and they were like, how did all these, like, cultures and places have pyramids? How did they all make triangles? And I'm like, well, you see, in nature, triangle is the sh- uh, strongest shape. And when you're primitive and don't have architecture, it's easy to make triangle. <laughs> so that's why all these ancient civilizations made triangles. Oh, God, I love the the pyramids ones. They always lose their mind about pyramids. <laughs> I'm, I'm here for it. Trying to get back into the creative process. Why does that little heart... I, I really wish I could just disable that little heart. Oh, my. There we go. Because I can't see some of the text. I don't understand why. That's, that's what I'm doing right now, Michelle, is I'm trying, like, I've been stamping for far too long, and it's just, I haven't freehanded anything in months. Just, like, I've been, like, all sad and in my brain, so I'm, like, trying to freehand again. 
Uh, oops. Just trying to get back in, get back on that horse. A horse with no name in that desert. Mmm, dessert. Okay, we're fucking with this a little. Ah. Okay, back to orange. Uh, why am I shaking it each time? Does anyone else do that? Like, you pick up a bottle and then you just naturally start shaking it? You naturally just start going to town? It, like, I've shaken these bottles more than, than Taylor Swift shakes it. No, that's a bad joke. Taylor Swift shakes it off. I don't understand anything about Taylor Swift. She makes good songs. Her music's fun. Uh, her stands are even funner to fuck around with. <laughs> I'm, I'm a contrarian. I've said this before. I, I love causing internet drama. But, like, not real drama. Like, fake drama. Like, stuff that doesn't hurt people. You know? Like, <laughs> like my fiancé, he literally has a Reddit account just to troll people. <laughs> and he's like, I want to see how mad I can make people. I'm like, babe, you gotta stop. <laughs> what brush am I using? I'm using a Beatles gel polish thing. I got it for Christmas. Um, I don't have, like, the Amazon link, but I have seen several people using these. And it came in, like, a bundle. Um, oh, I don't even have the box. Oh, I'm so sorry, Michelle. I have, oh god, depression is so fucking hard. God. Like, just the feeling of not wanting to do anything. Jesus. Like, why? Why, brain? Like, and a lot of people think, like, depression is sadness. It is sadness, but most of it is just not wanting to do anything. No desire, no nothing. Just, oh, it's so fucking miserable. I just, ugh. And you're like, it's just the chemicals. Please, balance yourself out. Ugh. Fucking pain. I'm so sorry you're dealing with that. Like, ugh, that's that's one thing. It's just like you have, to, ugh. When it's your medication, that's hard to fuck with, too. Because I've had, I've had antidepressants make me more depressed. And it's like, I, <laughs> I don't currently take antidepressants because that the time I took anti... I know you're supposed to try out a bunch and see what fucks with your brain and see what works. But it made me so unbelievably sad. I was like, I can't. I can't risk it again. <laughs> it's too much. Uh, wait, where am I going with this blue? Oh, give him a little hat. Little hat. Ugh. Uh, well, I find short nails can be quite, like, you can get so creative with short nails, given, like, whatnot. I don't, I think nail art can be done on any nail length, because I've, I've had a lot of nail length. I, I do normally tend to keep my nails long, but I have done nail art on my other hand when it was, like, really short. And just, you can really achieve a lot of great looks with short nails. That's another thing I find, like, the nail polish community, like, for some reason, they just push to have long nails. And, I mean, I guess, yeah, it's fun to have long nails, but, like, it's also fun to have nubs. Most people are going to have nubs, because life, life is very difficult with long nails. <laughs> the other day, I, I bought something. I stuck my uh, credit card in a uh, the little machine, the scanning machine words, and <laughs> I couldn't pull it out. I'm just standing there struggling to pull it out and the teller's just looking at me like, lady, are you okay? I'm like, no, I need help. I couldn't pull it out. My fiance was like, that was so embarrassing. What are you doing? And I'm just like, I'm struggling. <laughs> Life's a struggle, Buzz. What do you mean by vampire typing? Is that like you're are you typing like Yes Yes Or is it like because you have a some in, 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 in Jesus words 
See, like, now you guys get to experience, like, what it's like to edit me. I'm just taking out all my ums, my stutters, a lot of stutters, and just, oh, God. So many bad jokes. So many bad jokes. Like, I'm so not funny. No oh, hiccups. And hiccups. I get random hiccups. Those get cut a lot, too. Oh. I'll, I'll try and figure out the music thing, because this is probably... Oh, you can type... You're, you're typing... You're typing up a storm! And me and Mark Root Soup! Sorry. That is something I'm only gonna fucking understand. <laughs> MRR time. Me and fucking Mark Root Soup. I am a fucking legend. Okay, that is just for me and maybe the one other person that understands that reference. I'm surprised that no one called out my, like, most depressed. <laughs> in, my, <laughs> in my Plus Life Lacker fucking video when I was like, gamers are the most, <laughs> I was like the most depressed people, <laughs> the gamers. No one got mad at me for that comment, so I just assume you all understood that reference. Gamers. Oh, thank you. Oh, God. Don't tell me I'm funny. That's going to go straight to my head. <laughs> my ego can't handle a boost. Are you dry? Hmm. Kind of. Okay. We're going to... Okay. See, I've been criticizing everyone. I've been coming in their chats. I've been coming in their chats saying, risk it all. Risk it all with the sesh feet. I'm going to prove to them this is why you don't risk it all. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> Oh, see, look. How can you harm a god? How can you harm a fucking god? We risked it all. <laughs> yeah, Herbert. Oh, he's so cute. I love him. Okay. I am gonna... Okay, you... Ooh! Okay. See, I haven't used Sesh Feet in a while, and I forgot how quickly it dries, because I've been used to KB Shimmer's bullshit. <gasps> Like, I have to burn through this entire bottle. Oh, my God. KB Shimmer. I don't like KB Shimmer's, like, hollow sticker either. It It's very hard for me to read. I bought a fucking refill bottle like a fool. I was like, this is going to be my first experience with this nail polish. And I will also buy the refill because Kelly Marissa says it's good. Kelly, you let me down. Oh, my God. I was so tempted. I was so tempted to purchase the Kelly Marissa Cirque collection, because it was like 30 fucking dollars on sale during uh, Cirque's clearance. I don't know if that's still fucking going. I was so tempted. I was so tempted. But if I were to review it, then I'd have to criticize the gambling aspect. And I don't really want to lay into Kelly too much. <laughs> because I, okay, again, I come from the gaming community and we've had issues with like gambling and stuff. It's been a thing since loot boxes existed. And Kelly Marissa has said several times in her videos, I don't like to gamble. I don't like it versus Sesh V. Uh, it just doesn't dry quick enough for me. Like, my, like my, I, I value dry time more than anything else. I haven't had any issues with KB Shimmer besides, like, it just doesn't dry nearly as quick. And I'm very just picky about that because I want to do stuff with my hands. Like, I was, I was so tempted to pick up that Kelly Marissa collab. Um, I don't think there's anything wrong with naming polishes after the casinos. Hello! How are you doing, Michelle? I, I don't find anything wrong with naming stuff after the casinos. I love the casinos. We all start our, like, Vegas trip at a certain casino, and you have, like, fond memories. But, like, the polish that's, like, 777 and, like, uh, all in and stuff like that, I just, I feel a little bit, like, mm, about gambling because gambling... Like, if you don't know, gambling is the most deadly addiction anyone will get. And that sounds really silly. It really does. But people who get gambling addiction, it's like, like, it's like 70% of people who get a gambling addiction will choose to end their life. And it's, it is the most dangerous addiction to have. So I just, I'm a little 
finicky with it, especially when she had such inspired polishes in that collection. The green one that was named after that, like, cactus chocolate factory thing. Like, that's so cute, and I love that. But I feel like maybe that collab she had a little less say in, because she was like, oh, look, there's cards on the packaging. I don't know what game this is for. And Kelly Marissa has said several times she doesn't like to gamble. So I'm just like, mm. I don't know, that collection just felt weird, and I just don't want to, like, heavily criticize it in a video. But then again, I have, like, the gaming background, like, <laughs> like, with Twitch and everything, there has been a constant debate about gambling. So, because, like, you're exposing children to gambling, which, I mean, we do in arcades and gaming anyway, but it's, like, it's not good. <laughs> uh... You don't have to type, Nicole. You can just chill. You can just... You can you can leave, too. And you don't have to stay here. <laughs> which... Which... Se I only have, like, just normal sesh feet. Like... I don't, I don't fuck with gel. I don't fuck with gel finish, either. I hate that term. I hate it so much. I'm waiting for my top coat to dry just a little bit. Actually, I should top coat my thumb. Oh! Wait, am I saying Michelle wrong? I'm terrible with names. And that's funny because I have a name that everyone fucks up. So my legal name, I don't go by it, but my legal name is Alicia. Spelt, spelt the Spanish way, so A-L-I-C-I-A. -I -I -I. And I have been called Alica, Alicia. <laughs> well, Alicia is the Spanish pronunciation, but I've I most likely... Most of the time, I'm going to be called Alicia, which I'm just like, all right. <laughs> We're not vibing with that pronunciation. Pr pronunciation. Let's just call me Allie, okay? <laughs> all right. Okay, we got Sharpie pen. Your new hard drive is... What? <gasps> Mike. Oh. Oh. I can't think of how to say that. Mike L? <laughs> I can't. My brain. Okay, wait. Does anyone else test their nail polish dryness by doing this? Like, clacking it against the other? It's still a little too tacky. Who start calling me Linry? Oh, that's my gamer, gamer name. Uh, so... <sighs> When I was a wee boy, um, <laughs> on the internet, I discovered a game called World of Warcraft in its beta, and I was like, I want to play that, and I just made a night elf druid, and I named I named her Linry, and then now we're here. So if you ever played World of Warcraft with a uh, night elf druid named Linry, that was probably me. <laughs> Also, I was a, a mythic raider, so <laughs> I have 100% parses under my fucking belt. Are you kidding me? World of Warcraft's the only good thing I'm the only thing I'm good at. So, <laughs> also, unfortunately, I quit WoW like four years ago because Blizzard was like, "But what if? What if we just start touching our employees?" And I'm like, "Well, I don't vibe with that, so I'm gonna end my subscription and never support Blizzard Entertainment again." I don't know. I, I, I'm so upset because Blizzard made my childhood. It was literally my childhood. Diablo 2? I slayed the forces of hell with my family growing up. <laughs> uh, it's because it was the only game that didn't make my mother motion sick because it was top down. Oh, Diablo 2 fucking kicks ass. Oh, God. A lot. I've found that a lot of women have played WoW. I haven't played World of Warcraft with a lot of women that I know of because a lot of us were smart girlies who never talked in uh, Ventrilo or Teams because we knew we'd get harassed. It's also why I cuss a lot. Okay, I got. I want to just. I'm so impatient. I want outline. Oh, 
that's still like a little tacky. Drive faster. That's also why I cuss a lot is because I discovered at a young age, uh, if the first thing uh, the people I was writing with heard a cur curse word, they wouldn't hit on me, which was great. Because <laughs> that's what I want to experience while I'm playing World of Warcraft is some dude just being like, hey, baby, I'll pay for your repair bill. And I, I had millions of gold in World of Warcraft. And I'm like, bitch, I could fucking buy you. Shut the fuck up. Sit down. <laughs> Uh, Diablo, uh, Diablo 4, they fucked it up so bad. I cannot believe how bad they dropped the ball. Like, the viewership was like, person like, people were like, yes, this game's best. And then the end game was terrible. How the fuck do you fuck up the end game? How? How do you not keep your players interested? What's happening here? Ugh. <gasps> okay, I have to explain the Frosted Metals formula. <laughs> do I? Do I have to explain it or do I just show it off? Look at that. Are you... Are you kidding me? It's so shiny. And when the light hits it just right. Do you own any frosted metals? I've heard, I've heard a lot of people just don't like the frosted metals. Um, that it's just not their vibe. It's too pretty for them and they just can't handle it. <laughs> I, I I suffer from gamer rage. I again, like I received a negative comment on my nails the other day. They were like, "Ew, why so yellow?" vomit emoji, and I wanted to respond because I finger banged your fucking mom. Why are you such a bitch? <laughs> but I blocked them. I took the high road. I didn't want to take the high road. I just wanted to tell them my yellow nails are from their moms. Mm. Oh. Ever throw a controller? No, no, I've never done that. Um, I've thrown a headset, <laughs> but I threw my headset because it was already broken, so I couldn't get my headset to work, uh, hence why I have a microphone and a headset separately, because something always goes wrong with a headset. It's like, they always break. Either the microphone goes first or the sound, and I couldn't hear anything on my headset, so I just went, ah! <sighs> you may have gotten a frosted metal because of me. Oh, the, this is so pretty. Like, look, you can actually see, like, how little... Oh, I, I, I love favorite sister. Oh, look at it move. Are you kidding me? It's like this, like, I, I will criticize Holotaco heavily. They need to figure out how to photograph these because like, it's not an accurate swatch. If you're like, it's more pretty in person. Like, it's just one of those things where it's like you need you need to be able to f photograph it and I don't know like maybe hire like a third party to do it. I know like, you know, Christine likes the photography the pro photography process of this, but if you can't take an accurate photo of this, you have to you have to outsource it because like the like none of the photos on Hollow Taco's website like the color wise is accurate, but just the beauty, the beauty. It does like I know it's hard, but like also, Holo Taco, you probably make millions of dollars, so let's figure it out. <laughs> oh, I, I'm not doing stand-up. Are you kidding me? I'm, I'm having a panic attack right now in front of, like, in front of, like, ten people. I'm, I'm, I'm struggling. <laughs> me in person? Yeah, no, but, like, are you getting paid? Are you selling Frosted Metals, Kay? I don't think you're selling them. So, like, Holo Taco just... Like, I can't photograph them right either. Like, it's still turkey. Stop being turkey. Oh, the wrapping paper manicure. It's my go-to one. Are you kidding me? Like, let me find it. Oh. Let me find that one. It's so pretty. Like, you can... Like, look. I've I've been swatching. <laughs> my camera reel is just all swatches. Oh, no. My camera's almost full. Like... Or my iPhone. Are you... Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, yes. This was a bitch to take off. I put it... I put it on because I went to New England. And I'm like, okay. I can't wear a peel-off base. I can't pop a peely in the airport or, you know, at my family member's house. That'd be gross. So, <laughs> uh, dried out my nails. Base coat. Like, this, this stuck on my nails for two to three weeks. 
I I was livid, and taking it off was a fucking nightmare. Uh, I can't. I fucking can't. Oh. <sighs> Yeah, I guess I could understand that criticism. There is a lot of silver within, like, you can catch that silver right there. And it does hit pretty hard. I think that's what, I don't know. I think that's what maybe what a lot of people are seeing. They're not seeing the base color. And those people who can, like, see the base color are just like, yes. But, like, I understand. Like, if it's, like, overstimulating, like, oh. You do? You're selling Holo Taco or are you like de-stashing it? Sorry, I'm checking to see if my nails are dry. I'm I'm saying I'm risking it. I'm risking it all. Okay. All right. Here I come in with the Sharpie. It's not going to be dry enough. I know it's not, but here I am. I am a House of Hades stan. Are you kidding me? Like what? Like, like what? Look at that. Look at that fucking fill line. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Yes. I can't. I'm a I'm a sucker for blues. I'm a sucker for blues. I can't I can't function without blues. Why am I getting emails? Stop emailing me. Stop emailing me, DoorDash. Okay. Are we ready? Are we ready? I'm not ready. Okay. Neither is the neither is the base coat. Okay, we're doing this with a fine Sharpie. It's literally Sharpie pen. So then, you just outline. It's not dry, so like, <laughs> I'm so impatient. This is how I live life, like chaos. And it's so far away from my face. I'm so used to like doing it like this. Oh. <laughs> uh, I can't handle. Okay. 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 Like I am used to filming nail art. I do it for, for reels and stuff. But. Oh, I was gonna give her clothes. She's naked. <laughs> Fuck. <gasps> Guys. Oh my god. I'm a fool. I was gonna give her fucking clothes. Oh my god, I'm a dumbass. I got too distracted. I got lost in the sauce. Okay, she's naked. You know what? We are living for a naked Medusa. We are living for her. She's living her best life, which is hopefully in her house walking around. Oh my god. Maybe I'll give her clothes later. <laughs> I'm team polish. I'm 100% polish. I, I'm scared of gels. I'm so scared of like having an allergic reaction and just dying. Which is not what happens when you use gel polish, but I can't help it. I, the fear in me is so real. Oh my god, the process might be working. That that looks kind of cute. That's kind of cute. Matte top coat. I you can't you can't wipe off a uh, sharpie off of a matte top coat though. Wait, I haven't tried. <gasps> what if? What if you can wipe it off? Because, like, I'll show you. Like, look. I can... I can draw, like, a line like that. And then just... Like, this is... Like, hey, you messed up your line? Just fucking wipe it off. Like, here, I'll give you an instant replay. Oh, no! I fucked it up! I am a Virgo! How dare you come at me like that with slander! <laughs> Can you not tell by my anxiety? <laughs> I am Virgo. Okay. Guys, deep breath. Ah, the Sharpie. See, this is the ultimate technique. This is, uh, this is what we've been training on the mountains for. Okay. You can do this. Just believe in yourself. Believe in the heart of the cards. The heart of the card. I'm shaking so bad. Oh my god. Stop it. Yes. B 
But look, the process, it's working. Oh my god, I'm so surprised it's working. <laughs> Try on a test stick. I don't have test sticks. I don't have swatch sticks. I'm not one of those girlies. I should, because I feel like my life would be vastly improved. But I don't have swatch sticks. But I could try, like, I'll photo, like, I could try on my, like, left hand. Or right hand. Oh, guys, counting is hard. Knowing your left from right is hard. Coloring inside the lines is hard. A lot of things in life is hard. Like my dick. <laughs> Got him. I'm sorry. I'll calm down. I can't calm down. There's no way I'm coming down from this. Okay. Come on. Focus. Focus. We're nailing it up. Okay. Sharpie, I need you to work with me here. Oh, God. Stop shaking. Stop shaking. <gasps> Virgo, yeah. <sighs> Unfortunately... I'm too, I'm too, like, uh, type A to be anything else. Oh my god. Now, the key to this is not to smudge it while you're doing the other nails. Because you do need to let this set a little. Which is insanely lame. Oh my god. Uh, did I do it? <laughs> then you can take... Actually, if you kind of messed up and drew outside the lines a little, like what I did right here, you can actually take a brush and kind of push it off. Look, it's fucking gone. <laughs> no, seriously, I'm I'm coming into the nail polish community. I didn't come here to fuck around. <laughs> I came in here with my bean nails and whatnot. And look, I can test it. Like, okay, so in my drawing, I have her eyes closed. I don't know why her eyes are closed, but... She's sleepy. Sleep mm, no, that doesn't. <laughs> it kind of gets it up for us. Just really wish I'd stop shaking. Hey, tremor, tremor, can we stop? Shh. Get me in trouble with the community. Go for it. I'm I'm the villain of the community. I've accepted my fate because I'm just like, hey guys, check out these browns and whatnot. And I yelled at Hollow Taco and Mooncat. That Mooncat video was the first time I got like, <laughs> like people got so mad about that Mooncat video. But hey, hey, your swatches aren't accurate. Ah, that's not bad. No, oh, sorry, I just screamed at something. Like that's not bad. Mm, could be better. Could be worse. Okay. Okay, now the goal is, you gotta wait for this to set just a little bit. I normally give it, like, five minutes. Oh, God, it doesn't look that great. That's okay. It looks better in person. <laughs> uh, I've never heard that. No, that Mooncat video, like, people were, like, so mad. They are like, you can't just tell Mooncat to be better. And I'm like, they're making millions of dollars. Yes, I can. <laughs> I can say, yes, your swatches need to be accurate. Thank you. Uh, what's a brand that everyone seems to love and rave about that you think is 100% over the hype? Honestly, I'm going to fucking do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to say Bee's Knees. I've seen the swatches. The polishes look pretty, but goddamn people kill over Bee's Knees. Like, I, I've seen murders happen in the Facebook groups. It's nail polish, guys. It's not that deep. <laughs> fucking, I'll even, I'll even fucking say it. Hollow Taco and Mooncat. They are overhyped. I love their polishes. They're beautiful. They're very expensive for what they are. I'm a I'm a Hollow Taco and I guess a Mooncat Stan. They are way, way, way overpriced. A lot of nail polishes are. Like, I love my Hollow Tacos, but goddamn. I could, probably could have saved hundreds if I didn't purchase from them. But I do value the process of painting my nail. So I really enjoy the feeling of the bottle and the cap. So I really like that. Uh, Mooncat, I don't like that feeling. Because Mooncat's cap is ass to me. But that's okay. I actually had several people. I really appreciated that. Um, several people shared their experiences. Because I was like, I wonder how this is if you have like issues gripping. And like um, 
arthritis and stuff like that. So I was like, I, how, I wonder what happened, like how those people feel about this. And I had several people in that comment section that say, I have arthritis and I find moon cats to be really, really pleasing to hold, like easier to hold. And I'm like, oh my God, that's so wonderful to hear. But I also did have a lot of people who had arthritis in that comment section say it's harder to hold. So it seems like a mixed bag. Oh, I, okay, I do enjoy peeling the polish, but my nails are too sticky for that. I would have fucking, oh, I'm so upset because my um peel off base coat is just like sticking too well. My nails are so porous that, uh, words are hard. It's okay, I'll manage one day. Sorry, my brain is small while drawing lines. Oh my god, like, did I forget? Like, immediately I just went to, like, what if I just sketchily train my hands? <laughs> fuck, are you listening? <laughs> Alexa, what the fuck is that? <laughs> the lines! I'm like, what's a straight line? I immediately forgot. Delete that information from my brain. Uh... Like, okay, so I have the old version, like, of the Mooncat brush when they, um, like, this, this bottle has, like, the old, uh, this is, uh, Dragon Scales. I have the old brush where, it, like, the thickness, the width of the brush is too thick, so it's, like, really stiff and hard to use. And it actually affected the formula, formulation, where I can't apply it nicely. But it's like so thick. But their new brush, their new brush is really good. I'm very pleased with the, the upgrade. I'm so glad they upgraded that. Because their their old brush really fucked with the formulation of polishes. I've heard a lot of people complain about Mooncat, like on the subreddits and stuff like that, about uh getting thick bottles. I wonder if that's happened to me. I just thought Mooncat's formula ran a bit thick. It is a very pretty multi-chrome. Um, that's one where I originally had issues with the formulation. Um, it's a four-coater, but when I re-swatched it for my video, it was a three-coater. So I think I just got used to the cap and how it felt. Yeah. I'm just, like, Mooncat especially does seem very polarizing. Like, you either love Mooncat or you hate it. There's no in-between. There's no people that are like, yeah, it's all right. I do wonder if that's maybe like a sunken cost thing. Like people who have spent, <laughs> people have spent like hundreds of dollars on Mooncat. They're like, well, it's the best thing ever, which I understand. If you spend a lot of money, you want it to be good. <laughs> like the subreddit, like the Lacarista subreddit goes through waves. Like I, when I first joined, it was Island P. Island P was the top. Anytime you posted an Island P manicure, it would immediately be upvoted to the top and everyone would fuck with it. They're like, yes, Island P. And then it quickly turned into Cirque. And everyone's like, yes, Cirque is the best. I can't. Cirque is too expensive. And now it's like Mooncat. Wait, then it was Hollow Taco. Now it's Mooncat. Or no, then it went Bee's Knees. Now it's Mooncat. And people are already getting tired of Mooncat. So I wonder who's got... Oh, no. It's Lumen now. Lumen is fucking with. And people are pissed. Dude. Small, small rant about KB Shimmer, too. Right? Look how fucking small this cap is. What am I going to do with this? How am I going to hold this? It's like KB Shimmer saw Cirque's cap and they thought we could do smaller. The KB Shimmer cap is smaller than the Cirque one, which drives me fucking crazy. Where are all these tiny dainty ladies with their tiny dainty hands that need these teeny tiny little caps? I need something like a fucking Orly. I need something that just fucks. You know what I'm saying? This, this is what I need. <laughs> I don't need these dainty, dainty little polishes. Oh. Mooncat's super expensive. I personally wouldn't buy them. Like if you're going to buy them for the first time, I'd wait for a sale. I'd always wait for a sale. That's how I actually start purchasing Hollow Taco too. I purchased them on Black Friday. I really fell in love with like the formula and the brush and um, the bottle. And I was like, okay, it's worth the price point. So I'll pay it. 
Um, same with like I have I I've only paid full price for Mooncat once. Um, I don't regret it, but I could have waited. Well, no, I couldn't have. It was a limited edition polish. Never mind. Just kidding. Prank Joe. Oh my god. See, look the sharpie. I mean, it's not hella cute, but it's cute. Hella cute. Hell yeah. In the great words of Jenna Marbles. Hell yeah. Oh. I did not get the Hocus Pocus collection. I, um, I'm just going to say it. I've never seen Hocus Pocus. <laughs> so I had no attachment to it. And like the Alice in Wonderland collection, I have no connection to Alice in Wonderland. Um, and the Nightmare Before Christmas collection. I just don't. Every time I've seen Nightmare Before Christmas, it was against my will. <laughs> Someone else played it in the room and they were like, you are going to consume this content. I'm like, okay. What is this? What is this? Giving her a collarbone. Because that's, that's the sexiest part of the lady. <laughs> it's not centered. What have I done? Ah, it's alright. It kind of looks like she's turning. Do I close her eyes again? Yeah, let's close her eyes again. She's sleepy. She's sleepy. Oh, give her a little anime nose. Yes. Yes. She's got that emo vibe. Okay. Does anyone else just like, does anyone else do that during nail art where you just like, okay, I can't fuck up. Don't fuck up. Don't fuck up. <laughs> Wait, you noticed what about the subreddit? Dude, okay, I was watching Fanatica's stream last night, and, like, a new Orly came out, which was, like, a gold. And she's like, this has very, like, Flight of the Monarch vibes. And I'm like, no, it doesn't. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> okay, that was very aggressive. <laughs> she was comparing a dingy, coppery, fucking, stupid Orly to this. Are you... What are you talking about? The, the like the one that came in like the newest uh she did like an unboxing um of the newest orly thing and she was comparing that to fly of the monarchs and then someone in her chat was like i agree with you i'm like what what do you mean you agree with her uh, and like she's like i don't own flight of the monarchs i'm like yeah i could tell what <laughs> how dare you how dare you besmirch the loveliness of <laughs> Light of the Monarchs. Oh. A villain of the nail polish community? A hundred percent. I'm so aggressive. Like everyone else is like, well, Nicole's a little chaotic and I love that. I Like Nicole and Hillary are like my two top YouTubers. I love them so fucking much. <laughs> Like, they've got chaos vibes, and I love that. Like, Nicole has a hidden chaos vibe. You don't know. She presents herself as sweet. And then you, then you like, join her community, and then you find that she has a thing for smut. And you're just like, I love that for you. <laughs> Hillary is, like, eating things that you should not be consuming on camera. Like, you shouldn't be consuming in general, and then you shouldn't be consuming on camera. <laughs> She's like, this body scrub? What's that taste like? The Orly topper? What Orly topper? No, it wasn't a topper. It came in like the latest um words. The 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 box that a lot of people spend a lot like they don't well actually they don't spend a lot of money on. It's a pretty great deal. Um Oh god, what's that box called? But that collection sucked. I, I hated it. I hated everything about it. <laughs> I am in my villain era. I'm here, like, I, I need the nail polish community to understand. I didn't come here to fuck around. I came here to just destroy everything you love. Like, I don't, I didn't come to the internet to play games. I came here to sow discourse. <laughs> my terrible nail <laughs> Oh, God. 
Honestly, I'm so shocked. I didn't think anyone would show up to this. <laughs> I thought it was just going to be me testing, just talking about anime to myself. <laughs> Which is like my life. It's just me and my... <gasps> Gotta be careful of these two. Oh, they don't look terrible. I mean, it could have been better. Could have been better. Could have been a lot worse. I was expecting to just walk away uh, from this with people going, wow, Linry, uh, do you paint your nails? Do you paint your own nails? Because uh, what I witnessed was some Tom fucking foolery. Why do we call it Tom foolery? Hmm. Tom foolery. Who's Tom and why is he fooling around? I'm here for it. My yeast is rising. Gotta draw the lines. Shh. Be quiet. No chatting. No one talk. No one breathe. We're giving birth to worms right now, guys. Shh. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm not even on camera. Okay, wait. No, people speak up. If I'm not on camera, like, yell. <laughs> Calling out my fo- What? I didn't call them out. I said that I love them. I said I gave them my hearts, and they've denied it. So I just continue giving them my likes and comments. <laughs> I would never call out my fellow fellow nail artists, or nail, nail YouTubers. I don't consider myself a YouTuber. I'm just living life chaotically. I'll consider myself a YouTuber if I ever make money. <laughs> Oh, Hillary. Oh, and you. Oh my god, your vibes. I love vibes. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna pretend I'm not 32 years old when I say vibes, so just pretend this is coming out of like a, like a, like a child, I guess, when I say vibes. <laughs> Y'all vibes are like on fire, on point. That's what I need. I need chaos in my life. Oh, look at these fucking the color pass! <gasps> Thank you, Nicole! The color pass! Yes, this gross, bronzy, fucking gross color came out. And people were like, and fucking Fanatic here was like, this is like Flight of the Monarchs. And I'm like, you, you, how dare you? You can be incorrect, that's fine, but please do not sm <laughs> spread misinformation. <laughs> uh. Oh. I mean, you're allowed to be biased. It's okay. Like, Nicole's community was the first one I started interacting with when I was like, okay, New Year's resolution. We have to start interacting with people because uh, we're getting more and more scared of the outdoors. <laughs> so, But Nicole's seemed like the safest place to interact with. And, that, and I'm, like, fucking so, so goddamn happy I did. Like, it, it's really changed a lot. Uh -huh. Words squeaky. My voice just... No, but, like, it li literally changed my, like, outlook on the nail polish community because I was, like, always scared of it. Because, you know, you see these amazing artists and you're like, I could never. And then they're just all so welcoming. It's so nice. Oh, God, I'm scraping it off. No, why would I do that to myself? Okay. Oh, look at that. Worms. <sighs> oh. Oh. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. All right, I'm going to risk a bit. I have to get more water. <laughs> Enjoy the chair. All right. And yes, it's like 60 degrees in my Floridian house, so I'm very cold. That's how we're vibing right now. <laughs> it's 24 degrees. Fuck that. <laughs> in Atlanta? Georgia? Bitch. In Georgia? All right. It's time for the weather talk, everyone. What's, what, what is it outside? Oh my god, it's 40 degrees outside. What? I moved to Florida. I was promised tropical. 
I'm close to the 1k mark, am I? I don't... <laughs> Honestly, I don't know if this is dumb of me. I will track my uh, Instagram followers way more than I will for my YouTube. <laughs> four! Four degrees! <gasps> okay, so are we ready to watch me risk it all <sighs> with Sesh feet? Now, this is the most dangerous part of this process because it is easy to smudge. It is easy to sm Wow, that, that just, that, that worm nail. I need to... I have not outlined it well. <laughs> Does not look clean. But the good thing is I could top coat it and then redo it, so. Hmm. It just, like, my lines aren't. My lines aren't pleasing to look at. 27? Minus 8? Nebraska? Wait, isn't Nebraska... Okay, so I know this. Maine is a state where the Electoral College... It does not go all to the winner. Like, we have five points for the Electoral College. And Nebraska's one of those, too. It's like the popular vote gets, like, this percentage of the Electoral votes. Which, honestly, <laughs> spicy take. But I think we should do away with the Electoral College. I don't think anyone should be able to be president and lo lose the popular vote. But that's my spicy take. And I don't... <laughs> I mean, I'm not very versed in politics. But it seems like the Electoral College is just a outdated system. <laughs> but then again, I'm just a nail polish girly. What do I know? Tropical heat wave. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Tropical fucking heat wave. That's just straight up facts. Thank you. That's all that like literally when I share my YouTube videos and I'm just like, I don't hold opinions. I only hold facts. So, so sorry about you if you disagree with me, but the sky is blue. <laughs> I think that's why I'm the villain of the nail polish community. Cause I'm just like, I'm not wrong. <laughs> no, I am wrong quite a lot about a lot of things. <laughs> okay. Are we ready? Are we ready to watch me to fuck this up? Normally, because I'm not confident, I'll take a photo of it in this state. <sighs> okay, guys, pray for me. Pray for me. <sighs> Sky Daddy! I fucking did it. I fucking did it. Okay, but I do have two more nails to go through. <laughs> Well, that's, no, that's the crazy thing. For the first time in U.S. history, Florida did not vote with the winning president uh, for Biden. Which, like, okay, I don't, wait, okay, I'm going to risk it all again, and then we're going to talk a little bit. Okay, guys. I did it. No smudge. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't fucking smudge it. Are you kidding me? I did it. I've ascended. Godhood. Here we come. Um, no, <laughs> like, this is something that you wouldn't feel unless you're a Floridian. So when I moved down to Florida, I knew, I knew the politics of the state because I care a lot about that. And I knew it was a democratic state that has Republican legislators. So our congressmen, our senators, and well, Congress people are all Republican. And that's very much how it works in Maine as well. It's a democratic state that votes for, you know, Republican legislators. That's fine. <laughs> if I keep breathing. No, I, I have to hold my breath. I'm like, that's fine. That's fine. So I moved down to Florida. It was a state that voted for Obama twice. And I'm like, it's okay. I know that uh, Rick, Rick Scott, that was our uh, governor at the time. I was like, I know he's a Republican. Whatever. It's fine. After COVID hit, the <laughs> the discourse that happened in the state, because we never locked down officially, all these Republican New Yorkers and, like, all these Republicans moved down to the state. And it just became a crazy place. Like, literally, <laughs> I have seen more Confederate tattoos than I ever have in my life. More Confederate things on cars. I'm just like, okay. 
um, one of my neighbors, um, they work at a drag bar. And when they come home from work, they're in drag. Since Trump is, was the president, he, he is, or they, sorry, I don't, I don't know what uh, their pronouns. They have not, I've not seen them in drag since. It's just like, Whoa. And I just loved, oh God, I love the artistry of drag. Oh my God, I love drag soaps. Okay. Oh, hi, Wendy. Oh, 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 oh no, I can't, I can't. Wendy, it's too much pressure now. I've already, I've already top coated these two with sesh feet. I risked it all to show everyone they're cowards. <laughs> sesh feet is the most. <laughs> we stand sesh feet. I'm waiting just a teeny bit longer for this to dry. But I used a sharpie, a fine sharpie to do the line work. This is like the nail hack. This is what the nail girlies need to get into. And when I say girly, it's non-gender. <laughs> but it is completely gender. <laughs> It is a gendered word, but I mean it in a non-gendered way. And I've named this one Herbert. He's my favorite. I'm terrified. Oh. What's on my other hand? Okay, I'm so sorry. I normally put that in the description. But because I'm live streaming, I forgot. This is Color Club's Anything But Basic. I will, when I uh, finish the stream, I will edit that into the description. It is stunning. This is a three coat polish. Oh my God. It is lovely. It's so bright and bleachy. Herbert is beautiful. I did get, I got the worm plate because of Fanaticare. I was like, that is too funny. Also, what she didn't point out, which drew me more, is this bird face. I need this bird face. <laughs> I'm going to do a nail art. I don't understand what this geometry around him is, but I will be putting that in on my nails. I need the bird. <laughs> also, you know, I've already made this joke, but that's okay. Uh, you know, this would be great for my 9-11 memorial, Manny. <laughs> Just kidding. Never forget. I'm not doing a 9-11 memorial, Manny. That would be so, <laughs> that would be so bad. <laughs> my I can't. I can't handle. Okay, guys. I'm going to zoom you into this. That bird is excellent. The spiders are amazing. I love the spiders. Oh, you thought I free-handed uh, Sherbert? Herbert? No, unfortunately not. I free-handed everything else, though. Okay. Are we ready? Okay. Hold your breath. Hold your breath. No one breathe. Okay. I fucking did it. I'm a god. Oh, my camera is autofocusing weird. There we go. There we go. Oh, it doesn't come off the mat? Oh, that's unfortunate. Because it probably would do really well. Now, sometimes this does happen with the Sharpie. Now, notice. Notice that it has separated just a little bit on this nail. That's because I did not wait long enough. I should have waited five minutes. When you use the Sharpie, you got to wait five minutes. But... It's easy enough just to reline it again with another Sharpie, but it has set it like the ink has separated just a tad. So it is something that happens when you work with a Sharpie, but I think the, um, the negatives outweigh the, or the, the positives outweigh the negatives because literally how, like, how are you going to outline nail art with just a fucking paintbrush? Unless you're a God. I've never ascended like that before. <sighs> I think this manicure came out okay. I'll give it an okay. It's a it's C rank. Could have come out better. The pick. No, we risk it all with Seshvit. <laughs> I am not a coward. I don't chicken. I don't back down, motherfuckers. You all ducked. When I fucking charged into the wall. <laughs> no, I can't keep harassing people on their live streams telling them to use sesh feet and not use sesh feet, so. Oh. oh, thank you. Oh, again, this was inspired by Nympha Luna on Twitter. Um, I could not find the original tweet because I believe they deleted it, but I have linked to their Twitter in the description. And I have linked to their store um, where they do sell that print or that that print of the Medusa. Well, actually, wait, uh, that print of the Medusa. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, A tier. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I'm like so happy. I'm I'm shocked that people came and, and showed up. <laughs> I'm going to try and edit this stream just a little bit. Um, that way people who don't have time to consume, I think I was live for three hours. I don't know how long I've been live for. Um, that way people don't have time to consume this, uh, I can just edit it down for them. That's why I didn't have music in the background. I feel like that would just be distracting. Also, I don't know how YouTube copyright works. I understand Twitch is a lot better. But yeah. Wow, this was a lot more successful than I thought it was going to be. Oh. No, oh, but I, th I think I'm going to go. Thank you guys for, like, showing up. Holy crap, I can't. <laughs> I didn't think anyone would show up. I was like, I'm just going to test the nail art, and this will be fun. And then, yeah. Oh. You, like, you can, like, just rewatch. Like, I'll, I will edit in the conversations about uh, anime. That way, everyone knows to ignore me. <laughs> They're like, wow, her opinions are trash. Uh, she likes anime <laughs> and conspiracy theories. I'm just, okay, 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 I, I just have to state, I don't fuck with the conspiracy theories, I just enjoy watching them, okay? I like the suspension of disbelief people have about them. They're like, what if, what if Shakespeare wasn't real? Oh, I think, I think I will do this more often. This was a lot of fun to do a nail art with, uh, just talking. <laughs> So I think anytime I do a nail art, I might live stream it. This was a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much for showing up. And that's all I can say. It's thank you guys. Um. Yeah. I hope you guys have a good day. Bye.